Alright, I can start selling these bongs now. Um, I guess I'll just like alternate. I think I'm gonna hold on to these joint packs a little longer. Wait to sell them. I got hella bongs to sell now. Well, I think I want this shelf to have grinders because it sells the most. I'll put bongs over on this side. <laughs> More for show, really. Well, they got a big boost, so... I've actually got a lot of money in them now. Made back a lot of the money I lost from the price cut on the grinders. I just wish I knew exactly how many of the bongs I have. It just says 99 plus. I think it's like 300 maybe. Just can't remember. Be nice if it just told you the number. I could just do the middle on the other side too, make it match. saying they can't spam give people doobies. You check and see if something has been changed. Find a tourist. Um, ew. Oh, it's the only blunt I have right now. Oh my god, it is. Yep. mechanic has been changed it seems I'm assuming it was intended probably to not spam it up on the person <laughs> trying to get some locals in here oh yeah I was gonna do my walls place them with the better shit I think that attracts locals more I guess I should roll up some blunts harvest is in Sixty three hundred up to eighty four hundred. Not too shabby. 
Oh, so many kick trash in here. Come on, guys. Watch your step. Papers finally. Oh, I can't wait for the auto roller. That's gonna be so nice. Will be a lot easier to keep up with the blunt demand now that we can't spam it on people though, that's for sure. Just hand ten blunts to one person <laughs> consecutively. Six twenty five and what does it cost? Five hundred I think. Over twelve fifty and they cost one thousand. Did that say 98? <laughs> it did. I thought I had a few hundred. Damn. That sucks. Should get something planted. Summer child, thank you so much for the raid, dude. What's going on? Johnny, what's up everybody? How you guys doing tonight? I just started my stream. Some damn good timing. Hope you guys are all having a good night. Doing a real quick birthday stream here because I ended up having to work kind of late. But I still wanted to get a few hours in at least. Partially just because I'm, I want to try these updates. Oh, thank you, thank you. Got him to snipe me. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> How's your progress going, dude? You having a good time? Still progressing well, summer child. Yeah, sadly, when the uh, grinder nerf came, I had about a hundred in stock. <laughs> Lost a little bit of money there. Whoops. I thought I had a few hundred bongs. Turns out I only had 100 bongs. Oh, Same. It's okay, that was all cheesy money. Oh, of all bong types, nice. They all increased in value. I could sell it, I sell it. You got any of the old uh, plugs or anything from the start? I wish they had a little value. That'd be funny. Just a little bonus. All strains, all merch. That's awesome, dude. I'm guessing at some point here, they're going to start asking us for more than just what we have. Yo, Prophet! What's up, dude? 
God damn it, Autobot. Stop trying to block that. I've already allowed it. I'm sure I've allowed it already. Maybe I allowed it in the singular. <laughs> Yo, Apox Survivor. Thank you so much for the follow, dude. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good night. Asmophobia. Nice. Oh, playing with Steam? That's dope. I know, dude. It catches some stupid shit sometimes. Yeah, I think the next purchase I was going to do was the next level of walls in here. Because I'm really trying to get some uh, some locals in. And they buy almost an ounce at a time, I've heard. Once you get their uh, respect up. I think I might have the money and the stock to do that right now, actually. Let's take a look. Oh no, what was their respect at? Guessing pretty low or? That's cool to hear you got some in though. I'm glad they're not like broken. Did you guys see, 10-ish, ten, okay. Did you guys see that um, Thanks for the freebie. Oh, you can offer them more. Okay, so they there's a change in the mechanic now where if they um, if they want to buy, you know, if they like take it and want to buy or come back to the shop, you can't keep spamming them. Oh, look, you're only getting the rep once too. So you gotta wait now. You can't spam people anymore. Yeah. I'm getting some major frame droppage from all these customers. I think that's one of the things most affecting performance right now. Customers in your store. That's what it feels like. Yeah, so I just wasted hella blunts. <laughs> There's like fucking three of them. Fifty bucks a gram, I know dude. It's fucking great. That's exactly what I'm about to be doing. I'm, gonna, I'm about to be pushing the locals right now, so. Might as well shoot for the moon, right? My shop should be very close to being able to get locals in. You know, maybe even when I do this wall upgrade, it'll put it there. Let me just do that. I got 100k. I think that's enough. Doesn't cost as much to re up on grinders anymore either. <laughs> Large shop 500k. Cheesy wallpaper. But yeah, that does locals. It's 88k. My targeting locals right now is 40%. That's going to give me the extra 10% and two more base popularity. So that should put me in the realm for locals for sure. I think I'm already well past it. Oh, shit. Hey, you look like a local. What do you think about this? Dick. Hey, what do you think about this? Um, let me just try. Oh my God, go in, go in, go in, go in. Ah, glorious. First local, eight grams. Haven't played all day. Yeah, this is my first time playing today, too.
I got way too distracted just like on the Discord this morning. <laughs> Thinking tomorrow I might write up a little like mini guide for new players. Just expanding a little bit on like the post that is in the Discord. Have to keep it updated with the changing mechanics. Alright John, good luck sleeping dude. Have a good one. Oh man, I can't wait for Unbreakable Pots. It's gonna be awesome. I'm so happy locals come in now. Get to get even more customers. Wonder how much their respect goes up from one blunt though. I didn't see. Hope it's two. Check. Uh, just local. Two. Drop by my shop. Oh yeah. 10 grams. That's so awesome. They just start at 10 grams, dude. Now it's like I just want less burnouts. <laughs> Damn, my burnouts, though, they buy merch like every time. I think I do. I do not. I have new equipment. 16. I'll just buy new pots for right now. Wow, I just noticed my burnout targeting is very low now. Tourists and locals make up. Yeah, you can definitely go above 100%. So I might be able to stack more shit to get more burnouts in if I wanted to, like the things that specifically target them. Just like all my upgrades do higher tier now. The burnouts innately have way fewer bonuses. They're still coming in though. Still like 
mostly burnouts. Done ghost hunting. Oh god, I've watched some stream of that shit, dude. Not for me. <laughs> shot bro he already has 12 respect too so that means he's gonna keep coming back now yes you may help me come to my shop whoa where uh, what hey, what I shouldn't uh, exit it out Dude, nice. Are you, um, like, playing a real game of it now? Yo, Buddha! Yo, thank you so much, man. How's your night going? Ooh, are you a local? I thought so. You're just gonna... Oh, that... oh he's just coming in! Huh. So many people in here, holy shit. Hell yeah, dude. That's on the agenda for everybody tonight. Oh, I got gotcha. you. See what kind of numbers it puts out. <laughs> That was the noise she made when she did that with her mouth. Ah. Like a fucking Minecraft creature or something. <laughs> oh, this is a local, dude. What up? Oh, what's, what's going on with your head? Oh, it was like the lighting in there that looked so weird. Should go harvest those plants. Yeah, dude, they're just coming in on their own and shit now. I opened the floodgate. Harvest this shit.
Wow, that was it? One person in here? Okay. Yeah, so Buddha, today we did the wall upgrade. And that attracts locals even more as well. And I went out and started passing them some blunts. I don't know if if a tweak to them was put into one of the patches. I'm not really sure. Ah, oh, dude, I'm sure it's getting there. Thirteen grams, yes ma'am. She's my one fully boosted local. She was my test subject. What? Come on, bro. Don't have to disrespect me like that. That was a good blunt I gave you. I gotta wait to grow more, dude. Holy shit. No, you can't. For sure. Nerfed. I feel like my aggressive abuse of that is what got that fixed so quickly. <laughs> I never mind when something like that gets nerfed generally though, you know what I mean? Like, it makes the gameplay so much more realistic. And just kind of smooths everything out. That's why we do those things though, in this testing phase. You know? It's cool to see he already fucking patched it out. Yeah, basically you just have to keep serving different people. Yep. Exactly. Makes it easier to keep up with the rolling. Oh man, he mentioned automatic rollers coming like shortly too. Not sure exactly when, but... That'll be so nice. Yeah, or at least, I wonder if, you know, that, like, green arrow that, like, catalogs how many times they've come into the shop and it maxes out 100. I wonder if that's meant to also influence, like, how much they buy or how much they pay or something like that. I wonder if it's supposed to actually have an effect. Since it maxes out at 100, it stands to reason that it might have an intended effect. Like, if it just kept counting, then there would be one thing. It's like, okay, it's just like the count of how many times they've been in. But since it has a max value of 100, it might affect something one day. Just my logic on it, at least. But I haven't heard anything about it. 
I've heard there will be unbreakable pots. That sounds fucking glorious. <laughs> I want all unbreakable shit. It's funny though, I kept mentioning yesterday, um, like auto rolling machines or like uh, being able to hire somebody to roll stuff for you. And then Chris just happens to mention fucking auto rolling. I'm like, were you fucking watching my stream? I don't think he was. We were just synced up on that one. <laughs> yeah. Was there something like that in Weed Shop 2? Uh, okay. I played it, but not nearly enough to, you know, remember it. I've already played this one way more. Yeah, he basically said whatever's in Weed Shop 2 we can expect to see in this, but like expanded upon and made better. Dude, I know, I've been considering it as well. Well, like playing it again, I own it already. I just already have little enough time to play and like help in the Discord and stuff. And stupid work. Probably the only thing that's kept me from playing Weed Shop 2 also. Damn jobs. Yeah. I definitely need to wait a little bit longer before I plant more seeds. I'm still growing way faster than I'm selling. Which isn't a terrible thing. But I would like to sell more. Got a plug already, alright man. Yeah, stop by my shop. Come on over. I wonder how much respect locals need to buy merch. Like burnouts, it's five. Tourists, I think, is ten. I don't remember for sure now in tourists, though. The locals might be like 20. Not sure how much he had. Check this one. She's got, oh, she's got 40. Yeah, it'd be really nice if, like, the amount of times they visited increased how much they bought or something. Whoops.
Oh, to the the first expansion level. Well, what level are you? You haven't done the 50k shop expansion yet, have you? I don't know. I might do the shop first if I were you, bro. Are you really having trouble keeping up on your weed? Uh, if you're not having trouble keeping up, I would expand your customer base first. That's what shop upgrade's gonna do. It'll let more people come into the shop at once and shit. Yeah, there's a hard cap for how many people can be in here. Oh no. Whoa. <laughs> um, so the reason that you get more in than the hard cap is because it's a little bugged. It doesn't like calculate calculate it right when like the, if a bunch of them decide to come in at the same time, but they're not actually in yet, then like more can keep deciding to come in. So until you actually get the hard cap in here, more people can keep deciding to come in. So like starting shop, you're only supposed to be able to have three people in. That's why at most you'll normally see only like six or seven. But once you have five as the cap, you can get even more, you know, like I've seen like 12. <laughs> but that also means that the faster you serve people, the faster you're going to actually sell because it allows more people to come into the store faster. Like leaving the store full and making people wait is really just hurting your own profits. <laughs> Dude, you got it. No problem. Out of blunt papers. Oh no. I don't know what I'm doing with my money right now. Um, I guess I could buy grinders and blunt papers. Eight bucks, you should be doubling it, dude. Every time, just max it on the street. <laughs> um, like 200? Oh, is it that bad? Well, I think um, weight factors into it. If it's more weight, it's harder to sell it for that much. So maybe the low weight ones crank all the way up and the high weight ones be a little more conservative. Oh, you definitely need a blunt. patch up maybe it didn't hit yet though let me check uh. 
Let's see if it's up. It has not hit Steam yet, at least mine. Maybe a restart of Steam would show it, but I'll just wait till it shows up on its own. No rush. We might have gotten some collision fixes so they don't get stuck in shelves so much anymore. <laughs> we'll see. We'll test it out here. Getting trapped in my own damn shop. Them stuck on shelves. Yeah. Row Row made a good suggestion and Chris tried something, so we'll see if it works out. Seems to usually hit it out of the park, so. Let's wait and see. Dude, I just ordered like 80 grinders. Man, I just wish I had been low on stock on them last night. <laughs> okay though I, I deserve to lose some of that cheese money you guys saw how fast I was flipping those grinders last night making so much money it was dirty money it was like my laundering fee I think I might be low enough that I can plant some more weed. Let's do it. Local fucking 11 grams, yeah, right. I really want to max out a local. Heard they pick up open almost an ounce, like 24 grams or something. Let's see what the range is once we get somebody there. Hey, no, thank you so much for the follow. How you doing tonight? Yeah, if I can move ounces at a time, I mean, fucking game changer. And then I wonder how much um, influencers will pick up. Ounce and a half? Two ounces? I don't know. Did I get my papers yet? Oh. Gotta keep feeding these locals more blunts. Man, I knew I should have worked on them. Now we're nerfed. Bongs and grinders still worth selling? Oh hell yeah, dude. Um, they're just closer in price to each other now, so there's like more of a natural level progression with it. Um, let me look through the numbers real quick and just give it a quick assessment from the ground up. See what's worth selling and what isn't. God, so many people. Get out of here. Yeah, locals are fixed. Yo, Pew Pew, thank you for the lurk, bro. Thank you. Look at this. Mmm. Upgrades. Oh, signs gotta be next. Been having issues and having an easy way to fix uh, uh fix what oh the orders is that what you're saying like a way to insert an order into existence or something 
Okay, yeah, let me look at these real quick. Okay, so 50, 150, 300. Dumpster bong is still too cheap to ever sell. Acrylic bong is worth it. Bamboo bong is then worth it and stop selling acrylics. And like, of course, electric grinder is gonna make you more, but at least the bamboo bong is like almost relevantly priced now. And considering you have it beforehand, it's like, eh, you can keep selling it once you unlock the grinder if you want, but sure, you're gonna be cutting down your progression speed a little bit. But it's nice to have variety, I don't know. But yeah, if you want to if you want to progress fastest, you want to just stay at that electric grinder at the end exclusively. If you ordered something got off before it got there, you'd be able to see it. Check if it's there. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Whoops! I put a grinder in there. Yeah, the only bong I would skip is the dumpster bong. Not worth it. But it is nice that update really made those bongs relevant now at least. Because I stopped selling them. I just had 100 in my inventory when the patch changed over. Started selling them now. So they just weren't worth it. Yeah, they love the shop. When John Bon Jovi, dope. That's perfect. One, one moment, sir. Would you like a hit? Well, we can't share. It's COVID times. Let me just blow this hit out in your face, though. Do you get more XP when you're high? Wait a second. Gotta do some more testing. <laughs> He's getting five grams and gave me three, five grams. Oh, and I fucking leveled up. Oh, level 30. Hey. Oh, that's funny. Cause that's how old I turned today too. Oh, all sorts of new shit. Got new components, right? I think. Yep. Ventilation. Some good shit. Probably just start using that from now on. I got enough money. Furniture. Large wall decoration. 100k. Oh my god. That does influencers too. That's why.
Rookie pro setup eight top. I already had that. Yeah, no, I don't think high makes you XP faster. I unlocked a new seed, though. Is it a sativa? I'm gonna guess no. What is this bullshit? No. Yeah, nothing good. Hey, click and pop, what's going on, dude? Um, if you don't have any of a weed, they won't ask you for it. So as long as you have zero grams, they'll only ask you for what you got. But if you have even one gram, they'll still ask you for that shit. And it will really screw you over. Um, yeah, I'm assuming that down the road, that's not going to be how it is. I'm assuming you're going to need to grow multiple things. But until then, we'll just keep fucking setting the meta and following it, and then we'll be forced to change it over and over. And balance it all out. Working great so far. Fixes this shit so quick. Like the passing doobies out thing. All we had to do was like abuse the crap out of it, and then boom. Just like that. Balanced. Thanks for the hookup. Doesn't even come in, doesn't offer to buy any. Wow. These locals. No respect. Ten grams. It sure would be tedious by the end, though, trying to grow every single strain. I mean, you can do it, though. I just do, like, one big grow of one thing and then one big grow of another thing. Or maybe one box as one thing. And it'll definitely slow down progression. It would be cool if it was just kind of balanced out in a way like um, getting bonuses from having variety or something like XP bonuses or money bonuses. I don't know. Right, exactly. Yep. Just like whatever you're lowest on. Grow 2000 of that thing. <laughs>
Yeah, I think the next upgrade I want to go for is possibly the sign. Let's see what it is. It's a hundred K. Oh God. So much. That being said, I could basically do it right now. <laughs> Guys, should I do the sign? 100k, all my money. I have 70 grinders and 70 bongs, so got plenty of stock. I got plenty of weed. God damn it. Nah, I don't think there's any influencers floating around yet. We just gotta do a few more sales. Ready for harvest. Uh, yeah, we got enough room to harvest. We waited just the right amount of time to plant those. I think we top off at 9,500. All right, there we are, we got enough. Sign upgrade time. Let's do this. Oh, let me um pull those decorations in from outside though. Upgrade. Oh, look at that. The dumpster's back in. Back by popular demand. Smoke it all at once. Need a bigger bong. Save this shit. Just in case. Spicy Mike, what's going on? Um, yeah, well, 300 down to 150. Um, basically all of the merch got a rework in price. So now bongs are much more relevant.
It's a stony place. Right? This sign is so much better than the medium sign. Holy shit. Hi, horse. <laughs> That's a good name. <laughs> You guys want to know what my birthday meal is right now? Tendies and Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Always be on your high horse now. <laughs> A good name. Oh, I dabbed before and I will also dab after, of course. But Tendies must be consumed. No dabs are always part of the equation. <laughs> Never a time they're not. Well, I'm definitely going to order some weed tomorrow, though. Exactly, I need some genetically modified chickens that are injected with nutrients for me. And then of course the dab nutrients. <laughs> yeah, we were on the same page. You know it'd be really awesome if Diaper Boy was the first employee you could get and you like help him turn his life around, you like get him clothes and like get him to a doctor and shit. You have this whole story arc of like returning him to his fo former glory. You know how many people he robbed for that money? Killed even. He's a monster. Isn't one like going the, like facing the wrong way a little? One of them was like that, I noticed. <laughs>
I love how crazy the character models are. So fucking creepy. I'm out of attendees, I need more. Holy crap. Damn, these fucking bongs are flying. Already back up to 50k too. I feel like the shop sign has people coming in even faster. I don't know. What's going on? Who bought more weight than any of them in here? Oh, thank you by, by the way for the follow. I saw that while I was off stream. Yeah, dude, the locals buy so much. Seven grams is probably their minimum, what that dude just bought. They buy a lot, dude. I gotta just keep getting their respect up, though. They'll just buy even more. Oh, she doesn't even come in yet. New customer, let's go. My test local chick? Which test local chick was that? I, I don't think I had a test local chick, I had a test tourist. The one in the purple shirt. She can buy as much as 15 grams. But I think a local maxed up? I mean, it's gonna take a whole, whole hell of a long time <laughs> now that uh, we got nerfed. But I've heard they buy close to an ounce at a time.
all the tendies are consumed. So I think it's time for more dabs. Have a dab, please. Thank you. Nine grams from that local, nine grams from that burnout. The only difference is zero respect and a hundred respect. <laughs> You're not broke, nobody's broke. Okay, I sent a message in the Discord. Oh no. That dude just walked out. How short are their timers? Tourists are rough. I mean, uh, locals. Gotta serve them quick. Five seconds left on her. I definitely need a cashier. <laughs> definitely. Now with locals coming in too. Definitely getting out of hand. 
go get more of them. Oh, this guy's got pretty high respect already. Now he'll be a permanent customer. Ooh, I better order some merch. Getting low. <laughs> What's up, Kyle? How you doing, bro? Now keep in mind, everything's legit over here. It's above board. Oh, we got 100k again. Um, okay, so... 75. Oh, thank you. And then 75 of these two. That's too much. Uh, 70, 70. That's it. I'll just make these sales. <laughs> no one's saying you can't. Yeah, I'm just breaking it in more conservative ways. <laughs> I'm breaking it the way the everyday player might break it. You're doing something a little different. Four K. Oh, like in one C click that we mean. In four C clicks, okay. Yeah, that would be like if I doubled this with my current strain, that's what it'd be. I'm pulling like twenty one hundred per harvest right now here. I definitely feel it get choppy when I do that, the two, the 2000 harvest. But it doesn't like break on me, you know? 13 grams, oh, I love ya. You're wonderful. Trying your game crash, oh my god. Well, and that's why you're breaking it. So that when people get there, it'll work for them. <laughs> Oh, damn. Dude, I've had a lot of times where I was sure it was going to crash on me. Mainly from this bug, where if you have your inventory and you walk out, it freezes. Oh, shit, it's doing it again. Oh, no, it was fixed. What? Who pingeth? Let's see here.
Oh, I wonder if the update is live. <laughs> oh shit. Is that hot already? Okay, cool. Just see. Learn. Skip any strains? Yeah, every Indica strain. <laughs> Basically, in the start, I did OG Kush until I got all the OG Kush missions done, and then I went right to White Widow and got the White Widow quest done, and then I went to UK Cheese, and from there on, I just did every single Sativa I unlocked. Well, Indicas just aren't as profitable, like... You know, when you factor all the numbers in on them. They do generally grow faster, though. Oh, dab time! Of Indica Arello. Yeah. Dude, I picked up a fucking full ounce of dabs, and it's an Indica, and it ended up being like a really strong Indica, and it has had me fucked up. <laughs> it is rough. Very much Indica. Definitely a big boy. Birthday dab. Yes, it is. I turned 30 today. Fucking crazy. Woo! That dad kicked my ass. Hey, how did fucking... Look how, look how much of a fucking burnout I am I got bongs over here I got grinders in here how hard is it <laughs> Definitely, bro. Do it. Thanks, bro. Much appreciated. It happened quick. Definitely think I played uh, video games for the majority of those 30 years. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. How you doing tonight, bro? How was your stream? Oh, are you going right now still? I think he's streaming still. <laughs> Crazy the difference in the flow of traffic from the beginning of the game to this stage. Woohoo! I'm popular! 
Yo, it's Baggy Official. Thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're having a good night. Thank you, sir. Thank you for welcoming me to your community. Aw, oh, dude, you are like right on the cusp, though. Right around where it starts to get good. Hey, thank you so Matt, so much, man. Yeah, I wish I didn't end up working so late tonight. I was hoping I'd get out a little early and be able to start streaming earlier, but of course I got home and dragged my feet. Now it's one o'clock already. Probably only got about another hour in me. At least I can sleep in tomorrow, though. Baggy, do you play too? Do you pick it up already, or are you still waiting to pull the trigger? That's the state everybody's in if they're if they're like around here. You're either you know you already have it, or you're still waiting. <laughs> but about to pull the trigger. Yeah, it's going to be a lot harder, like, well, not harder, but slower of a time coming up now, though. I guess the decorations and being able to get Taurus in kind of balance it out, though. Like, being able to spam up these burnouts, though, just made them all such valuable customers. Made a lot of money off of them. Definitely better this way, though. Thanks, yeah, it's getting there. Back room is done up pretty nice. All metal and whatnot. Ooh, I guess we're low enough, actually. I could have planted, like, a thousand weed ago. Where can you report a minor bug? Um, well, Buddha, you're on the Discord, right? I wish it worked like WeChat 2, where you've been selling to them in your store, leveled their happiness. Yeah... I, I definitely agree with that. I remember thinking that, especially in the beginning of the game. Sorry, that's my Discord, which of course, um, you know, you're welcome to join, but um, if you just hit escape, if you're playing the game, it's got a Discord link right here. So you can just click that and it'll just hook you in. Yeah, it's super easy. I've like misclicked it so many times even. <laughs> Wait, I'm already in there. Wait, I got a plan. Oh, no, I don't have seeds. Come to your Discord? Uh, did, did you send me an, uh, an invite link or something? Got 46k, um, 30... And more... Sure, just give me one second. It's a special surprise, oh god. Now, let me serve these customers and I'll just pause the game for a second. I don't need any locals storming off mad. 
They're so fickle. Let's see. All right, I joined. Special. Are, so are you special. ready? Oh uh, yeah. You ready? Here we go. And let me know if you can hear it. <laughs> I feel like is I hear it. Is that a torch? Is that a torch? Space yes, it is. <laughs> That's a torch. <laughs> it is. It's actually here. I'll do one better. Um. That's right. ben well, That's Bender when he needs to cool his too. jets. Let me there get you go. one too, then. We all gotta... Oh shit, let me get a bowl. Yeah, Stoney, yeah. can you do a dab right now? Oh, I literally just did one, and I'm like already I'm so high. Alright, all right. well, I got, my, for you. I got my camera on if you want to check this out. This is for you, buddy. Oh, first, you've already seen this, but we got that clear. <laughs> I also use a nectar collector, not a rig, so it's a lot Nice. I've heard good things. Oh, they're great, and they're like 20 bucks on Amazon. Wow. And you get a whole kit. Yeah, I actually found it, dude. It's a legit kit, too. It comes with everything. Even are a fucking carrying bag. Are they made out of titanium or quartz? Uh, they're made out of titanium, the nail part, and then the rest of it's silicone. Okay. So it's like silicone with a titanium nail. I got me a bong. <laughs> Alright, I got me a bong. I'm ready. He's already oh. did his dab, so we're catching up. Ready? <laughs> Save the washer safe. Super easy to clean, and the nail part acts as a reclaimer. Stony, welcome to my neck of the woods. This is my big ass Discord. Alright. Birthday hit is accomplished. <laughs> I'm fucking lit. Thanks a lot, guys. That was awesome. <laughs> Happy birthday. Welcome. Happy birthday, man. Mm. Happy welcome birthday. To the 30 Club. Mm. Mm. Happy birthday, birthday. <laughs> That's something Prophet knows nothing about. You're one year older, one year wiser. The 30 Club. <laughs> oh shit, I never planted seeds. Next month I'll be 10 away. Wait, Steam, how old are you? <laughs> I'm 34, brother. Oh, I'll be 34 next month. Nice. Oh, May 14th. <laughs> Getting old, how you feeling? Like a 50 year old man? It hurt. Shit, right? <laughs> Dude, I'm not even 20 and I feel like a 50 year old man. What the Bro, fuck? you know you can not fill that up every time they leave. <laughs> I like, could. Are you, are you talking to me about my shells? <laughs> no, I'm look, talking about. Oh, you're both are doing it. Holy shit, I didn't even notice. <laughs> it's called. It's called having a good work ethic. Okay. <laughs> I, when, I come, called... when I come to the weed shop, I come here to work. Get your ass out there and hand out those joints. I need them upgrades. That's what I should be doing. I should be rolling, but I never remember to roll. <laughs> you know what I, no, so what I do? Um, I literally will close down the shop just to roll joints. That's ridiculous. I won't do it. I won't do it. And here's You're losing progress then. In the weed shop too, Bro. I've also been programmed not to do it because they I get make... mad at you. Right. Lose respect. With Romulan at a hundred percent on five locals. 
You'll make 20k every five minutes. <laughs> Buddy. Oh, That's is there money. an update? Uh, yeah, one was on its way. Did it hit? Yeah, it looks like cool. it. Cool. Alright, you run it first before I log out and <laughs> check it. <laughs> you let me know it's not broken. <laughs> okay, I gotta see this. <coughs> so, in Steam, right? Yes. I have... I have 13 hours on the game. Right? Okay. The yep. only thing I have done legit was the tutorial, and then I got to level 3. That was it. Oh. Alright, boys, I'm it. gonna create a new save. Oops. Have fun. I'm gonna play all right. um, Finally. That's, that's literally, in the game. <laughs> literally all I did. Um, <clears throat> and then Prophet. Well, me Prophet came up with the idea to, or was already working on it. And then I came up with the idea to say, hey, let's ask Chris if we can make this. Well, we are gonna make it. Regardless, because you really can't stop somebody from making it as long as you don't release it. What? <laughs> There's no harm in release in not releasing it, you know. True. Um. So. Reality. Yeah. <coughs> we um. I'm happy we got Chris's assistance. Talk to Chris, and he's like, that "Yeah, opens go." More doors for <laughs> he us goes <laughs> literally, yeah, go break the game. <laughs> oh ham, brother. It opens doors for everyone, though, with me doing this. Help some fix oh, it, yeah. so... It's definitely going to help us speed up the development track, too. Oh, yeah, I fixed... Uh, I got him to fix a whole bunch of endgame stuff. Like, I'm it's... Totally you're gonna um, the, uh, you're going to get... You're going to feel like your character's going to get nerfed at the end, because I think he's going to drop it down from whatever it was to 4 instead of 10. <clears throat> but you will have 40 plants... Instead of, <coughs> you know, less. Yeah, because honestly, at 40 plants, you can pump out uh, every 40 minutes 4,000 Romulan. I believe it, because that's what I've been doing. I've been growing in 48 busted pots almost this whole point up to the <laughs> been growing them like 96 at a time just two runs well, of the 48 pods with it's crazy with the, final, with the final setup with romulan right you end up pulling out uh what was it Three, 295 grams to 300 grams per plant it says 260 but with the growth boost and anti mite yeah. stuff get and the quality boost, boost yeah from the you get 40 you get 48% from the final. What y'all guys don't know about... Uh, that's the legit. Is, um, you need to beat the tutorial before you can do anything. But that's not even the end game stuff. We only have half of the weed in the game so far. Really? Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. yeah no. We only have um, level 3 strains that's right true. now. That's true. We're, we're... Yeah, we have no level 4s. Can I put my... We don't have, we don't have cross joints yet. Red pot leaf <laughs> decorations. Like, what do I use to roll the cross joints? What do I use to roll the cross joints? Well, you can't yet. There's no level 4 weed yet, dude. Okay, and there's still going to be the tulip joints, and there's still going to be the alien weed joints, too, I'm sure. And if not, yes. I will I will be very, yes. very loud in the yes. Discord about it until it happens. Yes. But I'm going to hey. be patient until the game is, like, hey. released finally before I even breathe hey. a word Steam. of it. Chris. Steam. Yeah, Steam. Bro. They're, they're coming back. I know they are. They have to. There's no way. No, no. He, I'm I, willing I, to I, pay for a DLC Kyle's for not here it. sounding like... No, no, it's not, not going like... to be a DLC. I, I think he's going to release it. Um, I'm sure he with... will. Yeah. Uh, I think they're going to be the tier like, five yeah. kind of people instead. They're going to be over the influencers. Yeah, like he, did, be, like he did with the last game, you know. And it's going to be super fucking hard to get them in your shop <laughs> at first. Like it was in the last game. But once they're in, they're in. Once they're in, they're in, as long as you don't hit them with a bat accidentally. <laughs> Not like I've ever done that. I mean, maybe. <laughs> probably. Probably did. Probably did. I, Several times. I, I hate Diaper Boy with bullet holes. What do you think, Benoit? Is this a good placement? You gonna hit him with the t-shirt gun? <laughs> See, now the reason I call it a t-shirt gun is because if anybody remembers the old days of like CS 1.6, right? No. Um, well, when the when the when the crab would attack you, you would in in the Half-Life engine, you would get hit by a t-shirt gun. 
So that, cool. that was that was the name of the weapon was T-shirt gun, um, <laughs> oh. like in the game file. So that that's just a really old meme from like the, the mid to late nineties for you. Back before like viral was a thing. Viral was America's you know, funniest home videos. That was what all your bases viral. belong to us and two girls one cup. Dota. 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 But Dota was a Warcraft 3 mod. Yes, and then they became a standalone with Dota 2. And then World of Warcraft, or Blizzard, know, tried to sue Dota. Dota. I know. Your stuff is freaking beautiful, honey. I know. Hey. I'm working on it, all right? I'm no, working no. on it. <laughs> hey, hey uh, Steam what Machine. That's huh. I'm What's up, up bro? Uh, I'm about to send you something on Discord. Oh, okay. Hold on. I think you just hooked Stony up with it. Uh... Stony doesn't even want it though, probably. I don't think Stony wants it. I don't think he needs it. No, I don't either. What's that now? I mean, I don't, I don't really care either. I can take it or leave it. To be completely honest with you, like if Chris thinks it's gonna help him develop, though, I'm, I'm happy to do it. But, like on my main save, I'm not gonna mess with it either. Oh no, don't mess with it on your main save. I I'll have make a new your main one. save. Copy your main save. Actually, I'll make a new I haven't, one. I won't even, I, I won't even start up. some progress. Like, Actually, profit. Since I reset my money to five thousand, I haven't booted up the uh, anything on the main. I haven't booted up the uh, editor on the main stage. I I know Ben. While you're right, they were just you lost. Oh mine? mine? Totally forgot about them. <laughs> I'll ad I'll admit to changing NPC names, but literally all I've done. Harmless. Like, as far as I see it, like you know, I'm not editing my money or my level or. My weed or any of that shit. Oh, no, uh, I have a save with 1,718,000 billion seven hundred and eighteen thousand <laughs> some odd dollars because I accidentally did it. And then um, somehow I put in level 44. I didn't lock the level experience thing. And I ended up at level 266. <laughs> e plus 5 in my experience bar. Nice. Like, yeah, it was... Oh, he has a backup upon a backup upon a backup upon a backup. So you play EA games? Oh yeah, at least we know that the engine can support the floating mass to have a billion weed if you want, though. Um, I'm not at a billion yet. No, but you've shown the engine's capability to store that number in the engine. Yeah, with everybody's combined, yeah. But I'm at 40, some 55,000? Okay. Close. I'm getting the patch. I'm right at 96 pounds of weed. It's like 96.2 pounds of weed. Wait, there's a patch right now? I didn't uh, did you get Just it? Just bounce it. Did you get it, Steam? No. I got it. Oh, I didn't check. Hold on. Oh, he hasn't logged out to the patch. No. Not yet. I was gonna have y'all test it for me. <laughs> I'm trying to get. No, I'm not. Blind faith. I'm not worried. I, I know Chris. No, it wouldn't be too hard using the uh, Unity has a VR toolkit actually, and I've always kind of felt that these all these games were kind of made for it. Right, all these simulators, like PC well, build their simulators. Yeah, and the weed shop, weed shop in specific, you know, like the game engine has always kind of had a ready for VR feel. <laughs> all right. Even on the mobile, like. Yeah, you have 196,000. I'm saving up for upgrades. Don't judge me. No, you're good. <laughs> good man. Good man. I'm not gonna tell you how much the final one is. You keep saving. Oh, I know. It's gonna be <laughs> a million. No. Twelve million. No. 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 Five million. Uh, let me tell you this. Fair. One million. Fair. You get every single object in the game. Okay, and this uh -huh. means with with growing standards like you're gro buying all your um all your you're, re you're stuff. replenishing all your stuff that's going away, right? Yep. Twenty million dollars is not enough. Legit. You get everything that is currently in the game. Yeah. 
Well, does that include, like, what's currently in the game is in, uh, like, the dab press and stuff? That is what's currently in the game before Grinder nerf. Okay, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, Grinder nerf, Grinder nerf hurts. Yes, but, uh, 20 million wasn't even, didn't even scratch it. Grinder nerf. We all had a lot invested. Uh, we all had a lot invested. <laughs> Stock market crashed. Took a tumble. You don't want to know how many grinders I got. I ended up having to sell 25 at 50% loss. Which isn't that bad. All things considered. Yeah. I bought them for 2400 and then I sold them for 1250 Wow, I lost so much. Yeah, you lost a lot of money from from when you logged off yesterday to when you logged <laughs> on today. I, I bought exactly 504 grinders. Oh fuck! I haven't sold. I've only sold about 60 of them. Can't win them all. <laughs> well, you lost about 250k there, brother. It's like a pretty heavy bag you're holding there. That's like that's like betting big on Dogecoin, bro. Sometimes you win them, sometimes they have in value overnight. Team, <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you seen my shop yet? Uh, uh, I don't know if I've seen it since the other day. Okay. So I know I'm looking at Stony's shop. Alright. He's got a sexy shop there. I'm working on it. Thank you. I still have Diaper Man here. Still got Diaper Man. I still got Diaper Man too, dude. I give Diaper Man joints. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't give him shit scalibers. Max. He, he looks like he's been through enough, dude. Right, I ain't man, adding I'm gonna, to that I'm gonna trauma. actually walk you through my shop if you're ready. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm watching. Oh, I love those shells. Oh, I love he's got the bongs. Do they buy the bongs off of your counter there? Uh, hold on. Okay. Take these. Um, these here? Yeah. Uh, they, they buy stuff out of those? Yes. These are the, these are the modern displays. Okay. Cause, and then these yeah. are the shell, wall shelves. Okay. Come on in. So look, we got the Rasta flag, of course. Hell yeah, you gotta hit the Rasta flag. Gotta have it. Smexy, bro. So like, you get all the little... Hey, good morning, Shuggy Bear. How you there. doing? By the way, this is my favorite thing. It's the Buddha, sta <coughs> Buddha statue with the bong. Oh, dude, that thing is sexy. That's definitely oh, going I, to my I window. I have that in um, the corner of my school. Pretty sure you've seen my... Uh, Holy fuck! I know for a fact Holy someone fuck. else. Profit, the lava bong works. Oh, we just chilling. We working on oh, our uh, weed shops here. We building up our upgrades. You know how we thought it was small? Yeah. I'm grinding my it's sorry ass small. to an upgrade no, no, here. No, no. Oh, shit. It's not small. No, no, no. Look at that bong <laughs> machine. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, good, good <laughs> God, that thing is huge, dude. That's as big as I am. Right? On a good day. Well, so the thing is, is that's that's probably his way of... I remember... I, I, oh, I can't remember if I mentioned it to him or not that he should have, like, a giant water bong. Right, um, so as a testament look. to... I went to a rave one time, and we were all out camping, and we took all of our liquor bottles and threw them in the fire, and we had a bunch of, like, the state's best glass blowers out there. So they all blew up this, like, 20-foot water bong out of this big ass campfire we had going and everybody was like taking hits off of it. <laughs> it was it was it was a lot of fun. Oh uh, let's see where at this is my shop. Oh we're at we're at forty seven thousand five forty five thousand seven hundred grams. So this is what forty three thousand grams looks like. Holy goodness. And here's, here's what I think, actually, here's what I think it should be. 
Oh wait, what? Oh, it's a shell. Honestly, the thrower should be. It should be that right there. You know, four. Yeah. That Gonna one. do it again. Wow. Like that's what it should be. Honestly, at max le at the level that is currently in the game of what it should support. Cause after this, it's so laggy. I'm so tempted to go back to level 23, which is where I got to legitimately, right? And then just keep the score. It's like it's like the grindiest part. But that's where the bugs once, come in. Yeah, true. 22 through 26 is like the grindy part, and then you just kind of start coasting. <laughs> but uh, if I'm level 22 with a maxed out score, I feel like that's gonna increase it a natural bit. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's definitely like a different game stage once you get the electric grinders. Even still. Yeah. It's not that much faster, but it is still noticeably faster. I mean, it's like in line. It's in line with like the leveling up with the progression it was showing before it pretty much. We buff the beginning of the game amount you make because it was very little. Yeah, people were having trouble just getting going. Yeah, and I suppose if you're not grabbing trash money, yeah. And he nerfed the mid game. Well, profit usually, I think profit, what would you finish at one, almost a grand on that one save in the tutorial? Yeah. Oh, fuck. All he was doing was picking up doobies and uh, well, trash before I even Yeah, dude, I spent like 10 minutes to buy all of the stuff oh, no. from the town. No, no, spent no. like 35, 40 minutes. Yeah, but then he was fucking rich. I, was, but, I had a cow guy. I mean, yeah, why not, right? And then he broke the game and he picked up like over a million. <laughs> we don't have to talk about that. That was a fun time, though. <laughs> that was a fun time, though. Now I fix save files. I mean, it's better. I, well, I feel like fixing save files. Drop by my shop. Come on in. Hey, do you ever find yourself talking to the customer? All the time. All the time. All the time. Like, right? Like, they're like my family at this point. I don't know why. Yeah. Like, straight up. You, you'll you have full-on conversations with these assholes. Right? Especially diaper man. Especially oh, no, fuck him. Man. I'll He's be always got a story. If I see him in my shop, I'm whooping ass. See, dude, the guy hates Diaper Man. Like, he hasn't been through enough, bro. Right, you don't know his story, he dude. Stole, he stole a jar from me. Yeah, because you did. A jar? Medicine, yeah. Bro. He took off with a whole damn jar, yeah. Really? A whole fucking jar. Oh my him. god, I didn't yeah, know. A jar out here. I used to do that too. Back in the first stage, I think it was, I had a fucking shelf right there. Wow. Nobody has touched any of my jars. Alright, I'm gonna harvest Crazy. how much ever this is. I think I'd just make them too happy. <laughs> or there's just too much weed out front here. Are you stuck, know, sir? <laughs> He's just well, oh, I, walking I, into my I, fucking I, window. It's the planter pot I threw in the corner that looks like a camera. What did I just grow? Why did I grow that? Seven hundred and sixty super chunks. Why did I uh, grow that? What? Belligerent. I'm high. Also, I have never picked up trash money in this game once. Same I did at the beginning. I know. I I never I've have. Done it, but I can't explain the reason for that. Shut up! No, you can't. Oh my God! My scooter disappeared, guys. I had a scooter. Get there. Oh, dude, I, I kicked the scooter to the moon at one point. Yeah. And it's gone. 
And it's good. Oh shit, that's right. I leveled up, boys. Ooh, that guy's buying for 29 now. A gram. Ooh. Bought purple haze, 9 grams for 29. What, is he offering you more in shop? Yeah, and this lady's buying 2 grams for 29 now. Of what strain? California orange. Okay. What were they offering you before? 24. Was it by any chance lower quality? No, quality it's, it's all perfect quality. I don't okay. Shit, dude. What do you mean? Yeah, I'm just asking. I don't go garbage here. You try to insinuate something? Yeah, you never know. <laughs> you want to fight in the weed shop? People be grow. Yeah, people be. Th with my moldy weed? <laughs> people be growing in mad broken buckets on the floor sometimes. So you gotta ask. No, 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 no. Yeah, I, was a, I was a venture capitalist who have to buy. You, you didn't get my kid, do you? No, no. I, I still killed that guy because some dude who's moved to Japan needs the kidney back. So he asked me to kill a guy. And I did. You know? No mercy. Hey, Gianni. He had it coming. He stole fucking Diaper Man's kidney too oh, dude, I'm, j I'm just mad i'm just mad i didn't have to beat up oh, wait, the guy on the uh the guy doing the the running the the fucking workout no the dude that you beat up you know the guy the dude the dude oh, yeah man. he clearly also stole oh, diaper man's man. kidney right like yeah. diaper man has a very suspicious looking kidney scar diaper man looks like he got shot Probably just RNG. I've had a local turn down Romulan. I was gonna say, I haven't had a local turn down Bubblegum yet. Yeah, I've um, had Just had wait, a, wait till I've you get their, uh, wait till you get their thing up. I think we got a good amount of RNG baked into every, every equation. Hey, she wants to buy the garbage. Okay, that's Why do you stock you garbage? Money. Exactly. If you didn't have garbage, <laughs> she wouldn't want was, garbage. It was what was left over. You should be happy then. No. She's doing you a favor. This, this, this is a dispensary. She's getting rid of it for you. Did you, yeah, you, you just wave me off, dude? Burn it, bro. She, she's thanking burn her. That, bro. Steal something. I will mess you Steal. up right now. Steal something. Do it. Do it, boy. What'd I tell you? What'd I tell you? Told her. They didn't listen. Alright. One. Hey, $50 a gram. And then she went in to buy more? No, she's walking away. Okay, that was weird. What the fuck? 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 Motherfucker. Dude, I think you're in the wrong business. Yeah, I think you're here, yeah. 
Gotta no. choose your path a little differently. <laughs> That's two people stealing shit. I need to pick a bomb. Because nope. you're so mean to him, bro. He ever tries to steal shit from me. I have yet Just to over have here chilling. Steal anything. I've had people steal from me, but I it's a bit of neglect. I AFK. Right? I don't even pause the game. Bro. I see you too, little bitch. I'm gonna get you too. Trying to steal shit. He's just attacking everybody. <laughs> They're just like trying to buy merch, and he's like, "Are you stealing yeah. from me?" <laughs> They're just like, "We have money here." It's like, "Fuck bad. you." <laughs> you bad. You bad. I remember you bad. The money as he's hitting. You know, come back. You know, come back uh, in my store. No, they keep stealing shit, man. You know, steal. You know, steal. I remember your face. We need to get him a shop like around the block, you know, in Corona's in Corona Zone. I think that's where he's supposed to be. Fit in with that crowd. Look, kidney scar. See, look at that shit. The dude hit him. Like. This guy was normal before. Dude fucking shot him three times, hit him in the fucking head, and then stole his fucking kidney. Another dude stealing my blood. Come on. My man has been through life. Like, I, I want to see a quest line to, like, restore him to, like, functionality. Like, get him, like, okay again. Help him out. You're talking about Chris, right? I, I mean, I don't... I'm talking about the the beat up, you know, diaper dude. Diaper guy. Talking about diaper guy. Oh, that um, guy. Oh, the, yeah, that guy. I want him to be like your first employee. You have to like do a qu a little quest line to like uh -huh. get him back on and his then feet. You put him in the joint buddy costume. That's how you unlock joint buddy, bro. Yes. You can either hire the, hire the shitty employee or do the crazy like quest to get him right. in the joint costume as joint buddy. Yeah. And he never steals, so you can never. What was in the past today? I gotta go look that the whole This bitch is trying to jack me! Dude, how are people stealing from you all the time? I literally never have thieves. Brand new, I gotta check this. No, you gotta get out. I will hit you with this Are you- again. Are you just not serving people? No, I was serving them. I chased down a couple fucking thieves. Bro, but the only reason people steal from you right now is if you don't serve them. I, so what I think is happening is as he's chasing down those I think thieves, I'm bugged. Other people are leaving. <laughs> he just can't catch up with it. He just keeps going to attack them. Just let them go. Just serve your customers, dude. Nobody gets away. Nobody gets away. Like all his respect is just zero. <laughs> All of a sudden, he just has no grinders no left. <laughs> no grinders, no money. No grinders, no money, no weed. They're gonna take off with all his weed, too. They ain't, even, they ain't even implemented aliens yet. He ain't even pissed them off yet. He'll <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> come fucking uh... running in like 30 deep, stealing all your fucking weed pots. <laughs> Coming with laser guns, saying, Oh. <laughs> Steam, Steam, how much you up to? How much cash uh, you up to? <laughs> right this second, I have 200 grinders in my inventory. Oh my god. And 12k cash. 200 grinders, so that's 200k. But it sells for more than that, so well, good on ya. Every 10 is 2500 profit, so that's exactly. 25k per 100, that's 50k profit. That's nice. So, yesterday it would have been like 240. I know. <laughs> I really depreciated in value. Somebody stole. <laughs> I'm not, not going to say you don't deserve it, bro. <laughs> it's not a business thing. <laughs> Looking at the way you beat the shit out of your customer with a shit covered mat. How not to play weed shop. <laughs> it's a broken 2x4. I got rid of Yeah. So, somebody gone. stole it. <laughs> and there's a plastic grinder there. <laughs> and it's too messy. Nobody, nobody buys shit. Yeah, nobody buys shit out of my uh, 
modern display. No. Uh, you mean the the counter? Yeah. Yeah, it's just weird how it has slots while the its predecessors don't. I know. You can still play shit in the predecessors, but they didn't have the slots yet. Exactly. Like the like snaps. Yo. Yeah, I like it too. It's hard to even see bong? through it though. I've got a bong on each side and then three grinders. Oh, see, I got a joint pack, or a doobie pack, a joint pack, a blunt pack, a bong, and a grinder. Nice. I put it all in there. Oh yeah, I guess I could so put... I have the best strain of whatever I can roll in, like the doobies, the joints, and blunts. Yeah, let me put a... Pack of joints in there at least. Right in the center. <laughs> Hello. Surround it with bongs. Hello, diaper man. Have, like the bongs on the outside, the grinders on the inside. Pack of joints between the grinders. That's exactly how I have it, dude. Hell yes. It's fucking perfect. And I've got a bunch of bongs and grinders and shit on the top of the counter too. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, that, yeah, I gotta buy a bunch of bongs and shit and put on like, the counter too. I even have some acrylics out just because they look all shiny. I like the acrylics. I prefer the acrylics to the bamboos. But. Oh, aesthetically, for sure. Yeah. yeah. I can't wait till we get the other bongs too, though. I know there's gonna be yeah. more. What is the implement the gravity bong? Gravity bong. We gotta get that oh, crystal clear to the bottom. Dab. We gotta get the dabs and the dab rigs. Those will probably come after employees, though. I really hope employees are like the next big update, to be honest. Yeah, I know. I'm like getting to the point where I'm kind of desperate for it. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, all before, I, there, all I before there are even larger jobs and more upgrades. Well, he did say the next big update is gonna be 2020, and it's all a surprise. He won't tell us yep. what it is. It's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be influencers and and staff, I'm sure. Are you just he's, guessing because that's what you I am. Know? I am guessing. And the reason I'm guessing is because, one, it makes the most sense in terms of game progression. But, two, uh, it's the next system, logically, that he would need to build to advance the, the, the game past the point that it's at now. You know, um, we have the large shops. The only thing missing are the employees at this point. We have the respect systems and all of the boosts for the different shops and stuff and their their respect levels and modifiers and stuff are pretty well hashed out. The economy just got a really big update, so it's pretty much well hashed out now too, I think. And yeah, I just made $10,000 no since, I, since I, I got all that shit stolen. Well, yeah, it shouldn't be a total grind. You know, it shouldn't be impossible to make money. You shouldn't be having shops go under in that, but... No, I make... I, I don't even... I don't have to buy anything. Yeah. Local, 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 come here, Heather. Hey, Sorry. girl. I'm gonna give you a free sample. Yeah, drop Yeah, I don't think that's at us yet. He literally just pushed the update. There will be. Don't worry about it. Chris is solo dev. He kind of does everything on his own. But I'm yeah. not sure. The game's not broken, so whatever he wanted to prep it for or put in is in. But yeah, I didn't find anything on the Discord either that outlines exactly what he did with his update yet. Probably just general bug fixes, I would guess. If he doesn't post it, then I'll show it later. Yeah. I'm not worried about it. Not in the slightest. And the patch comes out, patch people can right now, Same. I'm not having any issues. Yeah, it's running smoothly right now. It's running right. real smooth. I'm doing, um... Let's test this uh this freeze and see if it's gone now with the new patch. The inventory open when you exit the shop freeze. Oh yeah. Not I fixed yet. Oh wait, that wasn't as bad though. Well, that was... yeah, no, it's it's generally fixed. It's generally been fixed. Well, it was fixed, right? It was working yeah. perfect, but then I tried it right before this patch and it was like a hard freeze for a good oh, 15 right. seconds. Okay, yeah, because like I get a second or two, or a couple seconds when I bust out the shop with like an like a shop inventory. Yep. Sometimes I don't um, even think about it. When I'm doing it, I don't it was I mean, seamless uh, the it other day. I crash my game anymore. I mean, oh. I'm I've never shop. crashed, not I've once. Crashed I've crashed I've from crashed it at least a half twice. dozen times. Wow. Um, but it, that's my own fault for running out the shop with my inventory open, knowing it did uh, that. <laughs> that's why I stopped at twice. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to learn the lesson. <laughs> God, this would be perfect for VR. 
It, no, it really would. All of the Wii Shop games would be great for VR. Okay. Um, well, by my shop. I think the mobile one would have worked too. Shop by my shop. I mean, we'd have to improve the resources. Make it you know, better than 720 by 480 resolution. Shop by my shop. I want to play every single VR. I really do. I want to play that girl in VR over there. You you do realize like there are apps that do that, right? That will take yeah, any non-VR I... game and put it into VR. Hmm. Oh, well, My buddy used to play Guild Wars 2 in VR, dude. Are you gonna buy me? That's set weird. App? Why would I buy you said app? I can't even buy a VR for myself, bro. <laughs> well, then there you I go. might. I might. That you might buy me, buy me the app or the no. VR. <laughs> Jesus. I'll buy, I'll buy me the VR. I'll buy you the app. All right, bro. <laughs> Let's I'm be real. I'm glad you got the VR, but you're probably Thanks. gonna go for a Valve Index. Most likely, yeah. I think I got this just to see what VR would be, be like. That would be the reason I would get the Oculus Quest too. Right? Like, I, that's what I was speculating about. Yeah, first. Like a light experience. Yeah. Like a phobia was a like entry level. It's like still cheaper than the PS4 VR. I mean, it's, it's still cheaper than the PS5. Also true. I and mean, it runs on the computer you've already got. Right? I mean, you Which, gotta buy a little bit of software. That's it. <laughs> the computer you've already got also you don't does even all the other. You don't even buy software. You just gotta download Steam VR. Unlike your PlayStation, they don't even really let you put Linux on them anymore. Sony used to endorse that shit. They used to be like, "Yeah, put Linux on the PS3. It's a computer. Use it." <laughs> now they're like, "Oh no, don't, don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare use the hardware that we sold you for whatever you want it for." My Destiny PS4 is unlocked. Nice. Because they didn't actually come from Sony, they came from Bungie. So, we got the, 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 the like 500 or so they made of them. I got one that was unlocked, so I was happy about it. Ah, come on in, local. Yeah, I'm Where? rolling up Romulan. Rolling up that Romulan, bro. You know, in the beginning of the game, <coughs> you talk to a local, they're dicks. In the end of the game, they're still dicks. Which I could yeah. watch on YouTube. And it does not work well. I can only stream at 44p and YouTube I can load. Um, well, Terry, good news. Because it's all on YouTube. All of my streams. I've uploaded almost to the current one. Do you record or you restream? Um, I just export it straight from Twitch. There's like an export feature, you can export it straight to YouTube. Yeah, you can export your VOD straight, yeah. Yeah, so I just do that after every video. So yeah, they're all on there, dude. You can watch like my whole playthrough, I streamed every minute of it, I didn't play it all off stream. Dude, you can see the progress start start to finish. Are you still alive? Oh, Green Hell is so I brutal. Am. I'm not doing too bad, DDJJ77. How are you doing tonight, buddy? No, I had uh, both your guys' streams up, but I had uh, Sony in the background. Which, if the stream is covered up, it automatically takes away the view for me. So now you guys are both getting views. Oh, you mean you wish I was streaming on YouTube also? I see what no. you're saying. No, Terry, in my chat. Well, you can't. <laughs> Oh, is that how that works? Yeah, you have to wait 24 hours. Yep. It's There's part of the it's part of the agreement. agreement. I'm literally oh, interesting. Yesterday, I read through that. I was like, okay, Twitch exclusivity uh -huh. is, is specifically they require cool. 24 hours that it stays on yeah. Twitch Good to exclusive. Know. Then you can put it wherever you want. Technically, uh, affiliates are exclusive streamers to Twitch if you're on a Twitch affiliate. Because that's not what the contract I signed yesterday stated. I know. You're thinking about it though. Who wants hey, to do twenty-four oh. hours on one platform and then wait twenty-four hours to be able to do it on another platform? Well, no, you you don't. Do you just you just upload the video of the performance. Uh, it can't be gameplay at all. Multi-streaming multi is allowed. I'm pretty sure. Well, that's what I was talking about. Streaming to YouTube and Twitch at the same you time. Can is that YouTube what? YouTube and Twitch simultaneously. Yeah. Oh, we can. Allowed. Okay, that's what I was talking um, about. Because because it's unique content to each platform at that point legally. Are you um, saying I'm uh, supposed to wait to upload my vods to YouTube? Yes. 
Oh, okay. Good to know. Thank you, because I haven't been. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, so, like, yes, I have been. On Twitch. It's exclusive on Twitch for 24 hours. If you multi-stream to YouTube, gotcha. then it's unique content to each platform. Gotcha. Good to know. Thank you. So yeah, before that's you why, that's content, why I was like bringing that up. I was like, wait, you have to wait 24 hours to post it elsewhere. Yeah, I'll start um, waiting so that 24 hours. Like multi-stream, say it in like slobs, for example. Yep. You're actually streaming with a unique key to both platforms at the same time. You're using double the bandwidth and creating technically what is considered unique content on each platform. Huh. Even though it's the same content, right? The frames and key buffers are probably going to be synced up differently. So technically, in a binary form, it's different media. I don't know if um, if I've got the up speed to handle doing What's that. Upload? What's your upload? Are you at like 50 megs or so? No, only like 20. Ooh. And sometimes I've and sometimes I'm not that solid. I was streaming 1080, 60, and I was. Pretty. I, I was always. I was pretty much always able to lock it in pretty good, but I did just drop down to 720 now, just to just to lighten up the load and make yeah, it easier for people who are viewing when it doesn't let me drop. And 720p is like four megs. Yeah. 720. I do. I do. What is it? I set my bit rate to 6500 now at 1080p, 60. Huh. Cause yeah, I have my bitrate set at 6500 1080p 60. You well, it caps you at 6000. Yeah, as an affiliate, you are capped at 6000. The document I read on Twitch.tv said 6500. Really? Did they up it? They, yeah. It said. No, I mean they. They change. They change the policies well, all the time. You know. 4K now. If he just read that, then that's accurate. That's cool. Yeah. Let me go pull it up again. But yeah. He would have the most accurate information. Yeah, I mean, they change the numbers all the time, you know? They do. I mean, they just update their policy, too, as well, that. It, it's 6,000 again. So they must have dropped it back down when they rolled out the 15 meg partner yeah. update. Because, well, yeah, yeah, that's probably the reason I'm having issues then, because I've been streaming at 6,500 instead of 6K. Yeah, uh, OBS could even cap you, though. Well, because I was going to say, OBS uses as much as 7,500 outbound to Twitch. Oh, uh, level 31. I'm not Ooh. partnered, though. I know that. My stream key yeah. ain't either. Partner's a long road. Actually, I, do, I need to get back to streaming on the partner channel. Charity. Stuff. But yeah, I wonder if that's the reason I've been having frame rate issues the last couple days. Because I'm using old... Settings. I do need to start shooting for stack up again. Dude, I like to reach up for stack up. Oh. What was that? Popularity. Especially I among stack uh, stream for a uh, charity. Um, or I used to, and I'm, I gotta get back into it. I'm probably gonna start it in May again. I just gotta talk to John and see if he has a time slot. You don't know what stackup.org is? No. It's a charity uh, that uh, like helps out veterans with care packages and stuff like that. That's awesome. Nice. Yeah. Like, uh, you've ever heard of streamer of the Loyal Patriot? My father in law is actually a homeless vet. That's why we moved to Midland. <laughs> But uh, there's a streamer named The Loyal Patriot, right? Mm -hmm. He uh, he did a thing with Artesian and Stackup. For every fifteen hundred dollar, for every fifteen hundred dollars raised, Artesian gave a fifteen hundred dollar PC to Stackup to donate to a veteran. So fifteen hundred dollar gaming rig. Like, just gave him out. Wow. I I think they, uh, I think they um, got all the way up to 15 rigs total. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. I was gonna donate, but I uh, missed the stream. I had to do other shit. Dude, honestly, there's something so nice about just walking. You want something to Daniel Medina? I'll beat your ass. Look at that sick ass money. Yeah.
and 0.7 megabytes you're at terry that's uh that's really rough dude i know and twitch won't always let you downscale and when it does maybe it doesn't let you go that low either yeah i could look into trying to stream on both it wasn't something i necessarily wanted to do though Planning to just keep it to Twitch. Honestly, just keep to Twitch and then try to upload. Um, upload the next day. Yeah, I'm just gonna start uploading my days before stream the next day, so it has 24 hours. upload the next day um you can upload and stream on that same day because um you're uploading a previous content like a previously done content on twitch so you should be fine that yeah way. i'll just upload the day before as vod after i finish yeah, my stream yeah. so it has 24 hours If you're not affiliate or partner with Twitch, you can multi-box YouTube. Well, I am affiliate with Twitch. So to get the burnouts all 100 across the board, you just collect trash joints, give them to them, or roll a bunch. Um, yeah, or you can also buy $12 doobies from the guy down the street, you know, the first guy yeah. who gives you materials. <laughs> The only thing is you can't feed people like you used to. You have to spread it around now. You have to keep yeah, going to different yeah. people. You can't keep going back to the same person. Yo. That's fair though. Yep. That is fair. Totally. That's people were having 100. I recycled. Maxed out. Babe. Yeah, I mean, I've got every single burnout maxed out. And one tourist maxed out, and a lot of them really high. Some grandfathered in. <laughs> I, got, I got one, two, I got three locals maxed out. And they Dude, she is so awkwardly built. I don't understand what's happening. Which one? Who's built it? Red bikini local. <laughs> it's, a it's like her head her head isn't the right size for her body or something it's like weird some weird proportions going on her boobs hang down to like they are disproportionately large like this guy here reminds me of ellie man <laughs> oh shit i'm almost out of grinders boys oh but i have 230k we bought 230 more grinders <laughs> Wait, how many bongs? How many bongs do I need? I only have 47. Do you still get 600? No, they sell for 1250, right? Yeah. Buy them for 1k, sell them for 1250 now. Still $100 more profit than the metal grinders were, were generating. Which oh, metal, metal grinder money was decent. Bongs were trash. I was making 38 bucks off a of bong. Yeah, bogs aren't so bad now. It's like a hundred. Yeah, they're much more in line. <coughs> well, no, I was selling the affiliate. especially considering in the other games, bongs also gave you like XP occasionally when you sold them to someone who really liked you. Those eyes. I think, I, I think he needs a glass bong. I'm assuming that's gonna be one of the one of the next bongs in the tier series because it makes it's, it's it's probably gonna even have a uh, bad break with it. Yeah, it'll be part of the oh, the dabbing and glass blowing update. Oh, dude, yeah. That'd be dope. Oh, so I gotta try and convince him to put mine in the game. 
So he was talking about also, um, you could use your weed to make D dabs. Yeah. Heat press. Yeah, with the heat press. Yeah. Nice, because we have so much extra weed. And, well, and that's why I was thinking about mentioning to him, like, putting ovens in the game if he decides to do the edibles again. Because then you take your weed and, like, a cookie bake kit <coughs> or, or a brownie bake kit, and then you can make the edible out of it with your weed. Washing machine, so you can wash the heat out to make uh, shadows. Okay. Like tumblers? Uh, well, no. You fill up. Uh, so, in order to do this, this is really, really, really scientific. You take about two, three pounds of wheat. Like straight pounds. Right? You dump it into this ice, ice cold washing machine that has a tumbler in it, right? Mm hmm. And there's ice in there, it's super cold, and connected to it is a vent, okay? All that water, when it, when the weed freezes in there, right? Because you're dropping, like, um, like just a, a huge amount of it, right? It'll freeze, basically, in there, and it'll get, like, hard. Mm-hmm. Because like, it'll, like, it'll, you know. Yeah. Um, and then they'll suck out all that water, and then they'll tumble it with all the ice. And then it sticks, all that seeds and stuff sticks to the ice, it melts, yep. they run it through uh, butane and propane, um, let it dissolve again, it turns into that sugary, shattery stuff, you know? Yep. Like, it's how they make cured sugar. Yeah. It's a really cool process, though. That's awesome. Because then they also have stuff you hit with liquid nitrogen, and that stuff's really cool. Because then you just, you're taking like weed and you're crushing it into dust and dropping it into a propane base. Mm hmm. Ah, poor diver man. Fuck him. I used to hate him so much, but now I just feel bad when I see him. I understand his story now. There's so much more to diaper man. He was obviously attacked by like a lichen or something, you know? He was attacked by me. Getting a blueberry blunt just because you beat the shit out of him all the time. Right? We have to give more karma to our version of him. Like, remember that movie, that, like, fucking Jet Li movie or whatever, uh, the one? <laughs> yeah, like, there's... Yeah, yeah. Wait, you still pick up doobies? Uh, a blueberry blunt, bro. That's level three weed, man. You did pick up a doobie. I did pick up a doobie. You throw them in packages and sell that shit for free profit? <laughs> That's so trash. It's absolutely. I do everything trashy here. I what still have a mean? fucking roll called... busted pots back here. They're called street variety. I packs. still use these to grow. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> fucking. I'm cheap as shit, dude. What's wrong with you? A little moldy weed ain't killed nobody. There, dude. You ever been to a dispensary in Denver, dude? Seven out of ten of them sell moldy weed. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, what level are you? 28 now, yeah. Have you tried a grow box? <laughs> uh, yeah, I have a, I have a grow box. I have a couple of rookie crows. They like, just make life so day. easy. Why but do you like, do this like, to yourself? Why, why am I going to waste all of that equipment on fucking OG Kush that'll grow just as good in a level 3 busted pot? Oh, uh, because you're growing everything, aren't you? <laughs> I grow everything. That's right, that's right. All of it. Fair enough. I would grow OG in a busted pot, too. <laughs> no, here's the fucked up thing. I grow all the best weed. And I, I grow all the weed. All my weed quality. is the best. <laughs> I grow all the weeds at the highest quality. And I get my shit jacked. This motherfucker gives a molded ass, mited up weed <laughs> that's been sitting in a broken ass pot on the floor. Look, dude, it's I, because I he has charisma. Charisma. 100% quality, dude. You ain't gonna bitch if somebody hands you a joint full of moly weed. It's still free weed. <laughs> Actually, I would. That might be the reason they only pay 17 a G in my shop, though. <laughs> it absolutely no, dude, is. 100%. Look at my look at my weed menu over here, dude. My quality is all back at 100% now. I got it all up there. And all I had to do was stop growing in busted pots for like two grows and just grow a couple massive amounts in these rookie crows, and I, everything was at 100%. I, I'm growing in busted pots again until my quality goes down. Then I'll <laughs> ramp it back up to 100%. <laughs> I'm going to ride the line, bro, as cheap as possible. This is a business, man.
These ain't these ain't real people. I, mean, I might talk I might talk to them like they're real when I'm alone, you know, or I I forget that I'm streaming. But <laughs> I'll be like, yeah, yeah, what's up, man? Hey, good to see you. Oh, the kids. I couldn't stop laughing. My fucking face hurt. My stomach hurt. I'm sorry, bro. No, that was the perfect rant. Got you. <laughs> got you, bro. Oh, Tony. Yes. Uh, good. Is this making it better? Oh yeah. <laughs> Friends sang to him when he joined the call. <laughs> he wasn't expecting this, I'm sure. It's been a while since I've been serenaded. <laughs> Ooh, I like how you use that word. I mean, go back and watch the bot, man. That was a genuine serenade. It was. Oh, shit. I need to update this. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, game. Game, 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 game. Don't crap on me. Man, it's been a good week for WeChat 3, though. Lots oh. of updates, lots of bug fixes, lots of quality of life. That's because Dude. we were profit, we're just throwing in bugs and bugs and bugs. Uh -huh. and you guys were just busting it out, yeah. So I don't have to worry about any of this content I'm about to get into either. I have a poster on the inside of my window, and you can't see it from the outside. <laughs> it's just not there. We have literally a DM that's almost two paragraphs long explaining the bugs to uh, Chris. That we picked out in like four or five hours, right? Yeah. Like from, and that was mostly what you're at now and up. Like we didn't work at all on the beginning of the game. We just started mid game and just blew through it. Yeah. Makes sense though, because everybody else was already in and the early worked. game. Mm -hmm. And I think it saved Chris a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah. I left. I left the early game for uh, everyone. Finding bugs though is hard to me. I don't know why. I I can do everything else except find a bug. I can fix a bug even. I don't know, dude. I just naturally break shit. It's all about figuring out what's causing it, what's triggering the bug. My yeah, first job was a paid game. It was bullshit, dude. Except, I mean, it really was. dude, okay, so, like, I signed up, I was like, oh, yeah, dude, I'm gonna get to play, like, fucking, you know, Warcraft 3, and I'm gonna get to test the new Crisis and shit, and play <laughs> fucking Barbie Horse Adventure. <laughs> that shit for bugs. Like, no shit. Uh... I got a job with Gearbox as a tester. RuneScape wannabes from Moby Games. Like, I got a legit job from Gearbox as, as a tester for a week. Like, no shit, that's hell all, yeah. That's all I stayed there for, and I was like, you know what? I don't like this. I was testing some... There's a lot of pressure. No, it wasn't even that. I was testing not even a AAA title. It was some horse shit 2D side-scroller thing they've never released. Like, <laughs> it was just... Yep. It was so buggy. It was something they stuck one person to develop. He wasn't really good at developing. Probably straight yeah. out of like grade school. Yeah. Did a little, like, did like a little, straight, a little research on the Grasshopper app. Right. Like straight out of college, doing their thing. And <laughs> I was like, I really don't want to test this. And I quit. And that's when I started streaming. Hell yeah. Then I tested finished games. It was then that he realized. No, it was <laughs> then I bought. <laughs> My first game on Steam was uh, Skyrim. Okay, uh, good I had, choice. I had no I love internet. Skyrim, dude. I was at my sister's house, forgot to edit that watching channel. it for three weeks. And in that three weeks, I played it every day for almost 18 hours a day. I have 5,000 hours on that account in Skyrim that I no longer have. Yeah, I wish games counted hours back in the days of Morrowind. Oh, Morrowind. Oh my god, I've done... Nasty I'm positive I've got 10,000 hours in that game. Yo, Spicy Mike, 50k for a broom, bro. 
Got and I you. Know what Ten thousand hours feels like. I'm, I I just broke five k in BDO, which was easy because I'm sure I had fifteen or twenty k in Guildboard. Fifty k for a broom. Yeah, fifty k for a broom if you want to sweep up your shop. And yeah. it's just a rental. You don't get to keep the broom. That's right. That's right. That's end game content right there, boy. <laughs> Video content. Oh, let me check. Level three shop. Oh yeah, I'm I'm at the level one shop. I don't know. So you're at the level two. Oh, I mean there's. So you're no, the, I'm at the, the, yeah, I'm at the level one. I'm at the small shop. Because it's level one, level two, then level four on the upgrades. No, level three and then level four. Oh no, it's level one, level one, level two, level four. Yeah, zero one, one, two, four. <laughs> <laughs> Why not just move the large shop to three? And Classy. <laughs> That's awesome. That's just some stoner it's shit. It's fucking Fibonacci right there is what that is. Uh, two to a three and we're golden. Exactly. That's so funny. Five zero one one three four. Well, zero one one three five, but yeah. That's what it should be. 500k for large shop. Oof. No, I think he actually. Yeah, that's what I'm saving up for. Is it? He plans on making the shop, shop one more bigger. Oh, like there's gonna be there's gonna be another bigger shop. Yeah, there's gonna be one more shop because, well, because the one he has right now is the one from the demo. The one with the two giant sliding doors. There's another oh. bigger one. No, no, no. From... no bro room. Oh. Oh yeah, there's definitely gonna be a bigger grow room too. We're gonna need room. We're gonna need room for dab kits and well, baked if goods he, ovens. If he and... knocks down the final to four, there is a shit ton of room for dab. Well, and I was gonna say. I mean, I've seen how big the footprint of this building is. You could even go multi-floor. Ooh. If you have, you, have you jumped over the RV yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, turn off. Turn, just close your shop real quick. Progress. I'll show you. Close your shop real quick, and then run down the street to the right. There's signs back there to close it. Yeah. You're not I don't need to close it. No, I'm not. I'll be back in time. Go, to, <gasps> go straight down to the RV. Brave. And jump onto the back of it. Just hope you didn't fix it. But I was actually wondering if you fixed this in this update. Are you sure you can't run faster? I wonder if he will make a broom item you can buy in the future, like low levels to clean up the shop. Oh yeah, I've been over here, but I died. <laughs> no, no, jump, jump. Oh shit, oh shit, hold on. Minor technical oh. difficulty here. Oh, you did that way. I didn't know that you could go that way. I didn't even check all this. Okay, never mind. You're good. Uh, yeah, you gotta jump. Oh, that, you gotta jump. It doesn't let me jump again. <laughs> oh, you suck. Boned. Judging by the sound of him hitting his keyboard, it sounded like he was stuck. A little bit. A little bit. We're going to save that. That does reset your location. It does. I'm going to ask him to push, uh, put in a slash st uh, stuck button. Eh. Yeah, why bother when we can just save... We could just, oh, yeah, we can just save did, and load. Uh, he did fix the save load thing. Yeah. That's good enough. Yeah, it's like a slash duck. It only takes a few seconds to reload. Yeah, especially on an NVMe. It takes no time at all to load. Right, yup. Makes a big difference yeah, for this game. It's like, it's like playing 5M instead of GTA O. <laughs> Dude, I pride my server on loading in under 90 seconds, okay? Nice name drop, dick. What? So do I need 50k broom to get my tourist tourist into the shop? Nah, you don't need to get that upgrade. <laughs> you could definitely get them in um, with like decorations and shit. And that guy definitely doesn't look like a Sydney. Hello, Sydney. And you know, of course, feeding them joints they like. I got all my locals at like 
Damn, dude, really? Oh, yeah. Um, That's fucking awesome. Out See, the glitch still works, by the way. Except that one. It just, it just doesn't work after a certain percentage. Put on a shirt, dude. It works for low, low level of one. What does? Feeding them joints. Does it? Yeah, it works for anybody like under 10%. Uh oh. Okay. That still is a little, a little bit of a head, head start. Well, you used to, it, well, when it was before it got broken, it was you could go up by ten percent with your joint, and then they would stop you. Then it broke, and you could literally spin it to it. Like they would go up as much as you had joints to give out. Mm-hmm. And I think right now I'm oh, sitting yeah. on. 799 bubblegum joints that the locals won't even smoke because I gave out Romulan. What did we learn? Not to give out Romulan. <laughs> but now I have to give out Romulan. Because it's the only thing they'll smoke? No, uh, actually I started giving them a G13 and they were taking it. Okay. Because it's, it's another level 3, but it's not like... Oh, no, it's not. G13. No, G13 is right? Because that's G13, Pretty sure Romulan, Blueberry, and California, right? You felt to spend 50 grand in grinders. Is that all? Right. <laughs> Got a little fish over here. I think I've got like 200k floating around in grinders right now. <laughs> I, mean, you I just bought, bought another 50. Yeah, yeah. No, you just bought 50. Oh, that's, 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 not, that's nothing, dude. That's, that's constant. <laughs> you yeah. have so many bongs just sitting on your table they won't buy. Please. Yeah, I've got 99 plus on my grinders right now, so I'm not sure how many I have. And 99 plus bongs. I wish there was an yeah, I'd like to see past 99, personally, since we're getting to those numbers pretty regularly. Yeah, same. I mean, I get to see it with the weed, yeah, especially with, like, my, yeah, like, my grow items and stuff. No, nice like, to like, if you could go on, that. like, instead of having, like, your inventory like that, um, you could go in the computer and you could see your entire inventory with the number. Oh, yeah, he might do something like that. That would work, too, yeah, especially, I mean, the PC's instant now. Cause yeah, it's, it's so nice. Like, Yeah. Right, like you don't just know offhand, you have to like check the inventory. Now we just gotta port over the N95s from Weed Shop 2 and add contactless payments. For I would computer. also like the one menu to go away and it be placed on the computer and you have to check your inventory. I'd be okay with that. Yeah. That's one hot mic. <laughs> and I would also like... comes out, I would hire just a person to man the counter. I would do everything else. I would do the growing, the blunt wrapping. I'll hire everybody and just stand there and watch them do it all. Yeah. I'm By the way, if you jump on the trash at the right angle, you'll shove it through the floor. Yeah. You can do that with almost any item. <laughs> that has physics. The problem is when I do that, sometimes they actually end up underground and then end up in my shop. Profit did it to himself. Yeah. Twice. I should have shared my screenshot when I threw 50 bucks away yesterday. Well, Profit was jumping on a, tra a trash bag and he fell to the floor and decided to jump. <laughs> Don't remind me. And then he was doing something on the beach, like jumping around or something, and then he fell through when he tried to go through into his shop. <laughs> I was like jumping on the cooler, I believe. Oh, yeah, and then you tried walking in your front door and you fell through. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> went for you. So what ended up happening was uh, an NPC, or my shop was filled, and an NPC was pushing against me while I was trying to get in. So eventually it just went, nope, you're under the map. <laughs> that was before you could push the NPCs, right? 
Yeah. Can you still push them? Yeah. Well, then again, that does help you'll, many people. You'll almost always be able to push them into the shop, I think. It's like kind of always been a thing in the other games, too. You should push and influence her in. Get them stuck in, your ba in the back area and lock them in there or something. <laughs> <laughs> kind of fucked up, man. Well, <laughs> as long as you don't leave the shop, you'll be fine. Because if you're too far away from the NPC, they'll phase through solid objects. If we can hire influencers, I'm gonna hire Josh OG to grow my weed. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure he's a promoter, though. He stands out front in Weed Shop, too. Oh, does he? Yeah, he hands out joints and gets, like, everybody to come in your shop. Like, 120% <laughs> ratio. Oh, shit. Like, yeah, dude, a lot of the stuff in Weed Shop, too, is kind of over the top. Like, that's why I don't even... care if the end of the game is broke, like, the end game is broken. Because it wasn't Weed Shop 2. The whole, the whole game structure was kind of broken in favor of the player. But you loved it. Yeah. But that's what I love about it. You know, it's like, it's not a hard game. It's, it's not supposed game. to be difficult. It's supposed to, grind, to be fun. You're not supposed to have to pay too much goddamn attention to shit. But you're also supposed to occasionally have that stoner moment where you're like, fuck, I'm out of this weed. Or, fuck, I forgot to grow weed. Yeah, or, fuck, run down I the forgot to roll to this baby. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, yeah. I forgot to order seeds. Y'all hating on my favorite pastime? Not at oh, all. Oh shit. Get your ass Love back it. on those trash cans, okay? I, yeah. I've never got off of them. <laughs> Whoa. You better go was get it, me that was trash Was just money. the tip or was it the whole booty? Oh, it was the whole trash can. Oh. <laughs> you took the whole fucking thing, dude. Wait, did you... Oh. <gasps> Stoning um, upgrading right now? It's definitely upgrading right now? Step on trash money. No. No, he's buying pots. Yep, just normal shit. I'm gonna keep an eye on that. Stoney want a birthday gift? Who doesn't? I mean... Sure? What do, you get, what do you get the man that has everything? Nice cigar. Oh, I would, I would, I would kill for a cigar. Not literally, but you know what I mean. Right. I mean, it's not a Klondike bar. It's a cigar. Those are disgusting. They really are. Especially the mint ones. I yeah, I'm not like a fan. I'm not a fan of the whole Andy's mint Klondike chocolate mint thing. I like, I like the ice cream in the Klondike bar. I don't like the outside. I'd rather go eat like a Dollar Tree fucking, <laughs> you know, buy a box of six that piece of shit you pay like two dollars and you get a fucking thing of ice cream sandwiches and they taste better. But then again, I'm a cheap fuck and I don't care what I eat. So what is, what is your goal up there or is that just followers? That's just for followers, yeah. 1.21 gigawatts. <laughs> 1.21 gigawatts! I'm pretty close. It's, it's probably not gonna happen, but that's okay. You don't, you don't hit all of your goals, you know? And plus, I had COVID last month, so I didn't get this. I didn't have the energy at all. Stoney, do you like your overlay? Um, it's alright. I use Stream Elements. Wait, do you use Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio? OBS Studio. Yeah, I went with Stream Elements instead of Streamlabs. I'm pretty sure I used that overlay before. Like, way back in the day. Yeah, I, like, modified it in lots of ways, of course, but it's it's still basically how it looked. That's what a Stream Elements Oh yeah, yep, exactly. I just went off of one of their base ones and just like tailored it to my needs. I made it way more low profile. I just made it more low profile, basically. Put your own little spin on it. Yeah. yeah. I hollowed the top out for timers in like, it was for Conqueror's Blade at the time. So it showed the fucking timer on the map. I mean, I guess now you just stick a... 
something like Josh Joint? <laughs> yeah, I could I could put something in there. This is how you get rid of broken pots easy. Poof, they're gone. And the the nice thing right now is all my equipment on that was broken too, so I had to replace it anyway. So wait, do the pots disappear when you do that? Gone. Oh, did he add a way to manage the pots and despawn them? No, this has always been here. I just figured this out. <laughs> If you just oh, pick up, if you just pick up the whole, the whole thing, the whole box when it has broken pots on it, and put it, in, put it in your inventory. Yep. Oh yeah, you know, I've done that once or twice, and I didn't even, didn't even register that that happened. That's how I get rid of them now. I need to do that just to get rid of some old equipment. And that burnout just paid you two hundred fifty bucks. Because it claims that the equipment lasts an hour and a half, and the pots last an hour and a half, but the pots last an hour and 15 minutes, and the equipment lasts an hour and a half, and then I end up with broken pots, but still working equipment. Um, there was a point at which the pots worked for two hours, and the equipment only worked for an hour. Now, both should be one hour. I'm pretty sure. Definitely wasn't the case before the update. Steel pot is one hour. Then you're saying components? Yeah, it should be an hour, or it should be an hour and a half. They say an hour, hour and a half. They don't last that long, so the pots break before the equipment and does. And then your final tier should be two, right? I don't actually have that unlocked yet. I mean, you can still see the timer on it. I think I'm pretty sure it's two. I think so, yeah. But the pots only last an hour still. Well, I'm I'm hopeful that he's gonna do an unbreakable pot again. He said he is. Okay. As it should. stupid expensive. Well, as it should be. I mean, in Wheat Shop too, they were fifteen thousand apiece. Oh, I'm down. I'll buy I'll buy a hundred and fifty of them. <laughs> well, exactly. Actually, when you're making mad money, I mean. Actually, I'll buy a hundred of them. It doesn't kill you. It's an investment. That's what, That'll pay for itself really quickly. Be more expensive though, no, like 30, 60, hundred of them is one point five mil. Yeah. Right. Am I doing my math right? Yeah, you are. Well, uh, one hundred fifty of them. Uh, they're fifteen thousand a piece, right? Yeah, one point five mil. Yeah. Well, who knows what they'll be in this? Whoops. I mean, I can get that in two minutes. I'd say 30 or 60k with the economy the way it is, to be honest, at this at this level where, you know, the yeah. coming into play. Well, at in-game, by actually your guys' thing at in-game, you'll be higher than, you'll be making more than I am. And I make 20k almost every five minutes. Yeah, but you also beat the shit out of all your customers. <laughs> no, 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 I only beat the shit out of four of my customers. Sure. Fair enough. Fair enough. But one of, one them, of them. He's fudging the numbers. One of them I beat and I it's the rule of three, so the net, the answer is actually twelve. Right. No, it's actually only been four. It's so just I, all the burnouts. I no, I beat one local. He's beating on locals too, man. Damn. Wow, yeah, savage. I beat, I beat a local. You don't steal from my shop. You steal from my shop, you get beat. <laughs> you, you, you don't think the two go hand in hand? You beat me, I steal from your shop. Right. Self-fulfilling hey, prophecy. Not it's not my problem. It's Sounds like it's part. your problem. <laughs> no, I see. I don't care if you come one, back to you're my shop. Take, you're the one All taking it to him. Hand him a drink of Romulan. Guess what? That little he's burnout right is back. back in my good graces for the rest of the day. And then he's gonna steal your weed. Yeah, and then I'm gonna yeah, but you lose 10 every time you hit them, and you gain, what, 2 when you give them that? Um, you gain, a Romulan for a burnout gives 5. Oh, so wow. Three, really? 3 at the beginning. 3. Okay. No, but here's the thing. It only gives 2 orange, but it gives 3 of the red. Oh, okay. It makes them happy, but it doesn't make them a good customer. Huh. And the only way to get them to return is to actually get them in your shop. So 
the first thing you should you should have leveled up is the green, then the red, then the orange. Because the orange is obviously going to be the hardest you one. You know it's a bad doobie when a that's burnout says, what in the fuck was that? <laughs> Rip. So red is for merchandise, right? I'm pretty sure. Like I think they the just... Red. I think they just have to be over five respect, and yeah, same like, and well, happiness, respect and happiness, um, is what dude was saying earlier. And the what orange is, like the, that's would be respect, the code, right? right? The, the logic code, yeah. The first one's orange. That's respect, right? Yeah, the thumbs up one. Yep, yeah, that's respect. Yeah. Yeah, that one there, uh, yeah, it only gives them, uh... Respect, three. loyalty, two. And, and happiness. It gives them stone. two or one from the ones of burnout. I know the tourists only get one now. No, sorry, the locals only get one with Romulan now. It was two. Alright. It's hot. I'm gonna go stand up. Oh shit, I definitely planted these a little too soon. A little low on storage room. Some new trash doobies on this trash can, I love it. <laughs> Approaching the that was a ten trash hour can mark. loaded with doobies. Ten hours, damn. I'm starting to uh I was starting to run out of steam, guys. Yeah. Before I go, I just noticed one of you guys has doorbells on. <laughs> yeah. I have doorbells on, on my, uh, other chair. I don't even have the PC on this day. The man doesn't to... even have the PC, bruh. I have, I have $400 right now, and I haven't even talked to the dude about my special reward. Oh, dude, you're stacked then, you're stacked. Woohoo! I'm popular! Iconic Mill, thank you so much for the follow. Hell yeah! We love Let's it when go! Smash that follow button, bro. <laughs> smash it! Um, all right, I'm gonna try this again right now. Then let's see. I thought I tried this earlier, but I'm not sure if he was below ten. Nah, you get nothing, even if they're below ten. We're doing it back to back. Ouch! Debunked. Debunked. Made it to level 29 though. Nice. You're right on my heels. Right on your heels. Chomping on them. No fair, you got to play 10 hours today. Jealous. I didn't get to play any today. <laughs> yeah, man. 13 hours yesterday. Jesus. I'm, I'm coming for you, bro. <laughs> I'm grinding it out. It's good, man. To be fair, once I broke like 23, 24, it just it started moving. That's around, yeah. I mean, once you hit 26, you get those grinders, and then it definitely picks yeah. up even more. Start getting the bigger shop, more customers in, all that. Well, I'm skipping the medium shop upgrade, too. I'm going straight oh. to the large shop. Right. Okay. That seems like the way to go, skipping upgrades. I'm gonna do that in my grow room. I'm gonna go to the 420. Yeah, like I've I've got enough, you know, I've got enough weed to last. So I That's the thing. Go. I might go to the next shop too, but sadly I did buy the medium. But whatever. Not that there's anything inherently wrong with no. it. No. Like it's not like it's a bad investment. No. Because if you still get that boost to your sales. Yeah. And stuff, it's exactly. Still it's still helping me get there faster. Yeah, you'll save so a, mon a lot of money by skipping it. Technically, you can switch between the ones you own. Hmm. What? Can you switch so I, back I, down? I don't sure. have to buy the tiny shop again. I haven't actually clicked on it to do it. Here, let me save quick. I'm actually going to see. That, that sounds thing. terrifying. It sounds like you'll never get your cupboards and shit back. Well, I'll just load the save instead. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 
All right, we're gonna do it. Cause yeah, my cupboards may end up inside the wall because it doesn't move the object. Well, things that are stuck oh, no, to it, the wall seem demolished. to go. So no, when you upgrade, it gets demolished. So I wonder. I'm gonna upgrade to the large shop and see if it'll let me downgrade to the medium shop. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that's a bug for sure if it can, like, that's something we want to not be able to happen. Well, exactly, so I'll probably just have him add a trigger. If it does work, I'll have him right. add a trigger to demolish the, the medium shop if you skip it and buy the large right. shop. Right, like, exactly. Oh. That might be where the hook is built in anyways, you know, it might check all the predecessors right when you buy it. That's kind of what I'm thinking too. Because Chris pays attention. Hey, Iconic, Iconic Mill, thank you so much for the follow, brother. Much hey, love. Iconic Mill also just followed me. Oh, no shit. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> right. Dual streaming. Hell yeah. Dude, I know, dude. Can, can you imagine, like, if it... If it actually happens that like co-op becomes a thing the potential for squad streaming this oh game, my god yes getting four viewpoints in a single stream <laughs> oh yeah that's why i'm gunning for that partner now because i realized that they lock it behind that i thought you needed affiliate to squad stream oh uh, yeah and i think that was the case at one point but i don't know that it is anymore but i've always been super intrigued by squad streaming partner so far away so far away bro that's 75 average viewers is gonna be not counting raids or hosts yeah not counting cool. raids or hosts it's gonna be hard dude because you got to keep the people coming back you know but if you can get there i mean hopefully. worth it though i meet a lot of cool people here like, right so i came up with a challenge for you guys all right, all right. in weed shop don't pick up any get... match money for newbies. <laughs> no, the winner will get a $15 game on Steam of their choice next week. And my challenge is give you guys all level 44 accounts with $1,000. Oh, so you're make, going to make no, no, no. $1,000 each. This is all three of you. And the first one to get to modern tier first will win. And you have to start from the beginning tier and work your way up, making money. Oh, like a like a challenge. Yes. So I got you. Get, so okay. Like you let have me, to start me, with growing OG and all that. Stuff. Let me get the save file ready. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, we'll do this tomorrow. We'll start this tomorrow, but let me get the save file. Ready. You guys be down to do that? You know, I'm unemployed. <laughs> Not a fair fight. I'm no, just no, saying. <laughs> Valid. You are unemployed. I'm out of the running. If I win, you gotta flip a coin and give it to someone else. How about that? I'm unemployed too, and profit is too. Wow. So, so it is a fair fight. Wow. Relatively. So How about there, this? There can be no winners. <laughs> If I, if I got an email with the right, from the right people right now, I'd have a job to do. He's just waiting on an email. <laughs> waiting on an email, man. Just yeah, waiting on an email. Some design work for a bowling league. Tournament. So that's that's, that's gonna be that's gonna be my next bar. Okay. Sorry. He did some design work for an entire tournament. The man said he's waiting on an email, not waiting on a she male, but maybe a female. What are you, a rapper? Fuck. No. Old habits. He tries to be. I just, I got, I got bar, man. I ain't got bar. <laughs> just no. one. I just, I just got the no, one. Got, I just got, got the one, one. alright. Sit up with us enough killers to bust your guts and hit it with a wig away, living off on the river, watching this awesomeness while I spark a bit of my heart and bark. Welcome to the bottomless pit, animalistic, I know it's the dark in there. My world is not like a regular life, we tote big guns instead of a knife. And I grab night, the devil is in flight, instead of a red, I get up in fight. You got a job, I ain't got one, you got a wad, I got a shotgun, you got a guard, I got a squad, you're here to work and I'm here to rob. Thank you, Tech Nine. <laughs> Damn, son. <laughs> that doesn't make you a rapper. 
That makes me a person who learns the lyrics. That and makes you a recite. Yeah. Mm, that's yeah. That reminds me of a church reciter from um. Oh, what was that? Dan, son of Bob. And the guy was like, "I was the inker on the comic." He goes, "No, you were a tracer. All you did was color in the lines. You traced it." Fucking damn Silent Bob, dude. The Jersey series. I love it. Uh, have you seen all of our movies? Oh, yeah. My father has a Jersey Silent Bob superhero tray. What's, what's the newest Oh, I've seen their newest one. It's, uh. With his daughter and shit. Yeah, Jane yeah. Silent Bob, uh, reboot or something. Yeah, Jane Silent Bob strike, Strikes Again reboot. <laughs> oh, no, I haven't seen that one. They sneak it's, it out. Yeah, it's so good. I'm gonna have to check it out. Yeah, I liked it. I'm, I'm setting up the, um... Fucking clerk, bro. Save now. <laughs> yeah, that is some good shit. Nothing better than shit. He named his shit. daughter Harley Quinn Smith. Of course he did. I mean... It only makes sense. He to roll blondes. It's his favorite comic book character. I was gonna say, I mean... You, you, you ask Quinn a comic book nerd to name a kid, and... Anything, saying. anything goes at that point. I feel worse for the kids, to be honest. That's like in, that's like in How I Met Your Mother when they named their kid the middle child. Wait for it. <laughs> Wait for but, it. But don't <laughs> get me wrong. That is a badass middle name. It is. <laughs> You're like my name's Marvin. Wait, Wait for, for it. it. Erickson. <laughs> you say it as you flex. <laughs> You'd say it as you flex. I, I'd do a dab while I Bust it. it. Busting out of your shirt. My dab is far more impressive. Is it Hogan flex and rip your shirt? <laughs> you gotta have it attached to fishing line and police with motorcycles. <laughs> off of you Rigged. <laughs> right, I Walk gotta do a little like, bit of yeah. manual. You have like a giant industrial <laughs> fan that you're posing in front of. <laughs> Just behind the camera. <laughs> Blue spotlights. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I think he just broke. You broke me, bro. I'm broken. How do you break a steam machine? <laughs> Determination. <laughs> he's like, after he's finished, he's like, I'll be back. <laughs> Give me the chopper. Do I'm it. like, I'm gonna get you the chopper. Do it now. I'm a cop, you idiot. Who is your daddy and what does he do? Who is your daddy and what does he do? I loved that movie, Kindergarten Cop. <laughs> Yeah, we're definitely all 30 plus here talking about kindergarten and cop. Boys have penises, girls have vaginas. <laughs> There's no shit, kid. I wonder how many other kids learned that fact from that movie. <laughs> He's I teaching the world. <laughs> like, so yeah, trouble. for real, dude. I got in so much trouble after that movie. Because all I do is it go cool. around. I was like... Boys have penises. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> In case you didn't know, I have a penis. <laughs> or I would walk around. You want to see like, it? I would just walk around and be like, "Hey, look, a vagina." And no, I was little. I didn't know what a, know what a vagina was. I look, was look, it's a walking vagina, pointed, mom, from the movie. Pointed at a pencil. Hey, look, a vagina. <laughs> Actually, the worst, the worst thing that's ever happened in school, not to me personally, I had a buddy, he was like 6'1 in ninth grade, so he was like the size of a full-grown adult, you know? Yo. And, um, the teacher, she was really smoking, like, unbelievably hot. She, one day, like, she bent over in front of this dude, and... Like, she had her ass right there in front of him, and he just slapped the shit out of it. Yes. He got in so much trouble. YOLO, bro. I mean... Look, you said, out, she, slap it she out. said she was the hot teacher. YOLO. 
she was a history teacher too and she wore glasses and she always had like her hair up that librarian look oh here's Man. here's the question were there any real con consequences did he get expelled no probably not he got three days of in-house suspension and he had to write an apology letter i'd write an apology letter too that's fine no he didn't even write it he just walks over and goes Shouldn't have put your ass in my face. Do it Miss Rogers, I'd be like, Miss Rogers, I'm sorry, but not sorry. It was worth it. She was a history teacher, <laughs> man. Like, sorry, not sorry. Like, all sorry, the high sorry. school dudes wanted to bang that teacher. Fucking Watsky, man. I like Watsky. Me too. You know, he's the, he actually, he, he, uh, his, wor his world record is official now in the Guinness Book of World Records. His 11 hour freestyle? His 33 hour, hour, 33 minute, and 33 second freestyle that I had the entire video on and oh, I stayed up. Oh, the one up. you did on, one on, you did on YouTube for charity? Yep. That was the COVID relief one, right? Yep, yep. Guinness uh, made it official a couple months ago. I know he did, he did three attempts on that. <laughs> well, I know that the, the one that I have the video of is the one that counted. Even though the stream broke, he kept rapping in the Guinness world records person was there to witness it oh nice yeah and that... like so he started he didn't even know that he was allowed a five minute break every hour or that he was allowed five second pauses in between rhymes um so yeah, he, he, he came out real hard time. yeah and i pointed out to him i was like when you get a break i was like you can go to a bathroom and whatnot so he didn't take any breaks for the first like 20 hours so he God. Was, was saving up his breaks for this one 15 minute break at the end there where i guarantee you dude he had to fucking like smoke a bowl and do a rail just to finish out man he was like hit i know he did uh his youtube had like three different linked videos There's yeah one yeah for seven one for like 17 and then one for like another like tw 13 or some shit yeah yeah i have all three of them archived on my drive over here they're about 40 gigs like for freestyling that long, he did amazing. Phenomenal. He even actually had some really good hooks, some really good beats, and some really good rhymes coming out there. He started off strong, and then he kind of like tapered off a bit, and then he came back, you know, and, and people were like making fun of him for these like shoddy rhymes, and I was like, dude, he's doing this freestyle. He's been doing it for 20 hours. He's not allowed to right. repeat himself. What do you want from the guy? Right. Like, no, it still wasn't good enough. Like, if I could say the same rhyme over and over for 40 hours, I could probably be a record holder, too. Right. <laughs> with, like, and he didn't probably... fake it like that other dude. What's his name? But that probably put him down as one of the most, like, one of the world's greatest lyricists. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Like, he can probably rhyme shit better than Eminem at this point. Have you have you seen some of his new shit? It's pretty good. Oh, I've I've seen a lot of his shit. I love Watsky, dude. Watsky's dope. He's come a long way. It's it's been cool watching him grow as a him, you know. It was what him and Mac Lethal and yep. or something. And then Mac Lethal kind of got shit on by Tom McDonald and just stopped yep. doing what he was doing because he picked a fight he shouldn't have picked a fight. He did pick a fight he shouldn't have picked. Yeah, and he got shit on for it. If he did ever, if he never would have talked shit to Tom McDonald, his career would still be good. Without a doubt. But then again, Tom McDonald wouldn't have exploded like he did either. True. Speaking of Tom McDonald, my Spotify just bl blessed me with him. Um, and then Watsky, like, he kind of stopped doing stuff for a little bit. And then just blew up again out of nowhere. Yo. Like, it, he's nuts with it. And then I don't know what happened to the other guy. Like, I, I'm pretty sure he just petered off. I like NF, though. Yeah. Yeah, he's really good. <laughs> that guy's name is Guy Knight. That is awesome. Yeah. Oh. I didn't change all their names either, just a couple of them. You know what? I'm gonna find a guy, and I'm gonna actually the, the local in the red the red speedo. 
That's the only name I'm going to change, and I'm just going to change it to Turbo. Turbo. <laughs> Not making money hand over fist fast enough anymore. You know, if, <laughs> if, if Josh OG started smoking weed again, he would probably never have to pay for weed again. No, probably not. Cause not if they're know... not if they're he'd just do a plug radio commercial for one of the local dispensaries and I'd hear that shit on the commute. I know down to Quest they do uh, they do a thing for the dispensaries. Like they'll shout them out on the stream because they're live twenty four seven. Hell yeah. And they'll get like two or three grams of dabs every time they go for free. And there's like Hell six yeah. different people in there. Actually, there's eight people in the house now. Hell yeah. You gotta think, three grams a person, eight people, that's a lot of dabs. That's good business, though. Good marketing. Yeah, and that, and they get free Dr. Dabbers. That's why I'm like, you know, it makes sense that you don't make as much rolling joints and giving them out here in the shop either, you know? Because, again, it's more marketing than anything. And I think instead of buffing the cash you get from the joint packs or whatever, you could just tack on, like, give me some XP or maybe a raise of their respect or whatnot, you know? Or it should at the very least raise their happiness, which is, like, their high level. Right. And then that would be an added bonus instead of giving extra cash, you know? Like True. Again, you sell a bomb. Like, yeah, I'll talk sell about for, for Yeah, because you'd, like, you'd sell some merch for money, and then other merch you'd sell for, like, XP or respect in the shop or whatnot instead. Like and it wasn't all the time. Like, like ones for respect, um, ones for happiness? Yeah, like, you know, you'd, you'd sell five bongs, right? And maybe one or two of them would give you an extra point of XP. Or yeah, some shit like or that. you sell... Because then you're turning you sell a whole modern it. shelf of blunt wraps. You maybe get three or four, right? You know, respect. And that's not for a person. That's like hit or miss on the person. Yeah, exactly. Like it's random on who it hits. Yep. Because that was something I noticed that I that I liked. You know, like I like the fact that I can play through this game 50 times. Every playthrough is going to be generally different in the in the play by play interactions, but my progression is going to be generally the same, right? You know, after 40 hours, I'll be approximately at this point of progression. After 100 you hours, I'll be your 50 where I am. selling grinders. Yeah. Like, and you probably haven't even sold that 50k grinders, 50,000 levels of grinders. No, I have not. Not even close. No, a, a good chunk of that's been weed. I don't even know how many grinders I have, because I, I just have 99 plus still. Right. I've got somewhere between 100 and 300. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm at like 150 right now, plus what's on the shelves. But you only Probably sell grinders and bongs, right? I yeah. only sell grinders, but yeah. I'm doing bongs too. <laughs> He's like, I only sell grinders. Look, dude, you offer me 125 bucks oh, profit for a bong that's not going to give me any XP or anything versus... The bong gives you XP. Oh, it does. They do give you XP when they buy them. Okay, yep. cool. Have they then I will start uh, stuff. Joint yet? Who? The local, or the court, or the uh, brown. Will they do a joint uh, whenever they buy stuff sometimes? What? What? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? An, it's, it's an Easter egg. You're trolling me, bro. You're no, trolling me right whenever now. there is a, whenever one gets high enough, or get, we get the respect and all the gonna, stuff high I'm enough. gonna need a refresh on the right. challenge rules later, when we I will. start. I will. But oh, also, uh, it's also an open challenge, so if anybody wants it, message me. I'll send you the save and the rules for it. But you won't yeah. get the prize. And no, I'll do that. I'll do that. You, you'll do the prize? Okay. Yep. They must have steam. Yeah. That actually works out. That's I'll legit. Do, now I don't have to try hard. <laughs> I'll, do a, uh, I'll do a $15 game to anybody who wins that challenge. Cool.
four we each have three and I'll send you the disc because that's like twenty I think retail. Depends on whether I will buy we shop three. Okay. Actually that actually they that challenge is for in we shop three, so that's Oh fun. yeah, they're already gonna have that game. So yeah, I'll Give buy a fifth or some shit. Or what yeah, or whatever game they want. I'll do a twenty dollar game. Okay. For the winner. And we Stakes are rising. Because then you could just give away a twenty dollars game card. Mm -hmm. Like just send them the code. Or I could be and like, I can have everybody start new, like one day, and just not do the forty-four thing. And say the first person who gets a, a modern counter gets a twenty dollars game on Steam. No, Daddy. they'd have no, 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 because. We'd need a way for them to verify it was our save, right? They could easily... Modify it. Modify it. They're gonna modify it regardless. True, well, and I think that's, I think that's again, why, like... Well, it's, I think it's we gonna have, have a sterile sterile environment. Yeah, it's gonna have to be, like, a we're Twitch gonna We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do it in call. I could do a sign-up sheet. Like, have, uh, up to, like, ten people sign up. So, the way we would do this in, in, uh... Cal back in the day, right? Is everybody who's participating in the challenge would be required to maintain a local recording of their gameplay and submit that uh, for verification. You know, I mean, it depends on how many people are participating, but at the end of the day, we would at least have to verify the winner, right? And make sure that, like, you know, one, all of their gameplay is encapsulated and there were no breaks in between, no changes but, from one load to another. But you, you know, have so to even. Go Ahead, the, rules, the rules are, though, you have to go through each tier. Like, you could speed run it, but you have to be able to sell each tier you get to, you know? Right. Because what, what is modern unlock at? 26? Or 28? 20-something. Yeah, I just got it a couple levels ago. I'm 29 now. So maybe 27, 26, 28? 26, 27, or 28 it is. Okay. See, that's not that hard to get to. That's what, four days? Roughly? Yeah, just about. And that's if you stream five hours a day, roughly? Yeah. I like how Stoney's like, I'm gonna do this stream before bed, and he's like three and a half hours in. <laughs> yeah, I fucked up. I should go to sleep. I just completed, completed the tutorial. Well, who are, who are we going to dump our viewers on, bro? We'll do it to the uh, same guy. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Why is this flood? Uh, is anybody live from the thingy? Raid All right, some, so, some level set. 44 and 1,000, you said? Yeah, let's see if anybody's live yeah, streaming in the... Yeah, 44 and 1,000. It's then... you and Stony. that's it. Ugh. Um, let me check Twitch and see if anyone else is Why other than phasmophobia. Does it refresh? Because it does not. I will refresh. It says bounce back. Oh, we got we got somebody. We got two people. The dual axe and freak destroyer. Somebody has to go into each of them and see see who's who's talking yeah, and stuff. Yeah, you just, you just, most. Now, I know that Dual X gave me a follow earlier. Oh, cool. I recognize his name. Up in there. So I'm partial Check it to out. him, but who's actually streaming content? That's, what, okay, that's the this question. This guy is just starting out. He's picking up duty. Okay. This guy is... He's starting to learn how to roll duty. <laughs> All very doobie-based. Got a lot of doobies. Just see who's talking and shit, you know? Yeah. Cam, the other guy does not. God, I rolled two fucking blunts. Level 44, 1,000 money. Done. And Duel only has one viewer, so I'm assuming that's himself. So he's probably not able to chat with anyone. <laughs> you gotta always pretend like somebody's there. You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. Flip a coin, roll a die, jump into their chat, and have them each guess a number. 
<laughs> I could do that. Good. But no. You, could, uh, you just jump in, you'd be like, hey, guess the number. Whoever responds. Heads or tails? Heads is freak, tails is jewel. Okay? Call it. Heads or tails? We should probably just go for the one that followed you. Gotta share the love. Just heads or tails? <laughs> Pick one. No. 50 50 chance. <laughs> no. I already know what the answer is gonna be. It's tails. Pick tails. <laughs> we picked tails. Yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, heads. <laughs> hit up. I would say hit up the dual, the dual app. Say file six. Wait, I'm freak ready to go. Speaking. Wait, freak is speaking. Oh, is he? Yeah, he is straight up talking. He's talking to his people. Yep, he's talking to one person. Good man. No, I'm doing. I'm doing. No, I'm doing this. Yes. Hey. I'm going to punch you. 138k. Pick a number between 1 and 10. Somebody. Seven. Okay, so whoever picks closer to 7 wins. 140k and still 99 plus on both bongs right, and. Said six. <laughs> good guess. A clean fight. Seven is closer to seven than six. All right, bro. I am ready to raid him. Uh, wait. Who was it? Duel. Duel axe. Yeah, I'll, the duel axe. I'll, I'll give you a link. It's okay. Kyle, why did you say okay? Something will happen. That sounds. Something, cool. something will happen. Something will happen. You're, you're creeping him out, man. <laughs> He's like, oh god. He's like, I should stop streaming now before something happens. He's like, I should turn my stream off before I get swatted. Shit. <laughs> Should've ordered that pizza. Was my mic on? I don't remember. Shouldn't have guessed seven. <laughs> I should have never guessed seven. Never guessed yeah. seven. Surprise. What was I thinking? Number. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching tonight. Gonna raid another weed shot player right now. But I'll be back streaming again tomorrow, so definitely stop in if you've got some time. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. His title, Conglomerizing the Weed Industry. Yeah. I like it. He's got a pretty good little setup going there in his back room, though. He does. For a starter, he's, yeah. He's not using broken pots. Keeping up on his gear. Alright, he raided him. Yeah, it's going. The raid is live. The raid is real. Oh, Sony Gamer, thanks for the host, man. I appreciate it. It's a raid! Oh, yeah, I'm like oh, I got you, bro. You ready? You ready for this?